Dia dengar okay, apa? Okay, dia okay. dengar apa dia nak beli? Ha. Hood dan Hood and Hope. Ya. Yeah. Ha. Dia beli uh, ada Hood and Hope nak beli. Ha. ha. Hood and Hope. Hood. Ha. Kitchen. Ha. 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 Welcome back to lagi satu episod baru Net Balance and Chill musim kedua yang ditajakan oleh AIA Public Takaful. Hari ini kita nak sembang satu topik persoalan yang very hangat controversial. Betul ke sewa rumah lagi baik daripada beli rumah? Ten 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 bersama saya adalah Natasha Berunding kata saya. Saya say real estate agent lah. Ha? Real estate. Negotiator. Negotiator. Mm-hmm. And then we have these two very handsome boys from Insomniac. We have Daniel and Iskandar. Korang please introduce yourself. Let's start with the gorgeous Natasha here first. Hi, my name is Natasha Gideon. I'm a real estate negotiator. Negotiator. I Berunding. I also speak in Malay. Ah, boleh. Uh, hi, nama saya Natasha dan saya adalah seorang Perunding harta dah. Betul. Okay, so Daniel. Yes saya. Introduce yourself. Oh. Saya. Oh. Oh. You call me. No, panggil nama saya Daniel. Okay. Yes, saya. Hi, nama saya Daniel. Uh. Daripada band Somnex yang baru nak naik di Malaysia. Yeah. Oh, wow. oh BBNU lah. BBNU. BBNU lah. Oh, BBNU. Yeah. Yeah. Terus sebenarnya dah 8 tahun lebih lah. Tapi BBNU lah. <laughs> yeah. Boleh lah. Dia kita slow sikit. Kita slow. Okay, uh, nama saya Iskandar. Saya juga dari band Insomniac. Saya main bass dalam band kita. Itu oh. je lah, actually. That's all? That's all. Lah, more sikit. Dia ni gamer juga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, kita suka main game. Kita suka main, suka main game. game. Okay, so... <laughs> So we have very diverse cast kat sini lah. Ada satu uh, negotiator kat sini, ada gamer, musician kat sini. So before we start everything, kita nak main satu game dulu. Jom. Jom. Ah uh, sebagai gamer Apa kan. Game ah. Okay. okay, so akan bagi korang dua option. Dan korang kena pilih satu option related to property. Okay. Property, okay. Property, ya. Yeah? Okay. Ready ke tak? Ready. Okay. Let's go. Let's go ah. Eh? Question pertama, soalan pertama. Korang lagi rela tinggal dalam rumah yang tak ada signal phone dan internet atau tinggal dengan housemate yang perangai dia syaitan pun takut. Oh. Okay. Oh. Negotiator, will you negotiate with uh, housemate yang like that or you would like stay at no wifi? I, saya tidak boleh hidup tanpa wifi. Jadi wow. saya sanggup uh, tolerate. You akan tolerate perangai berhantu. Yes. Hmm. Kita banyak-banyak um, berzanji dan rukiah. Uh. <laughs> okay, okay. Bagi saya, uh, sama juga tak boleh hidup tanpa wifi. Mm-hmm. Uh, kalau ada rumit teruk pun, kita main game, main phone, pasang headphone. You know? Korang sembang je sebab korang tak pernah kenal lagi kan? True lah, true, ah. true. Tak pernah kenal lah. What about you? Sama? Option B, sebab saya pernah tinggal dengan dia, dia pun macam syaitan. Oh, oh. <laughs> tapi masih hidup. Tapi masih, masih hidup. hidup. <laughs> okay, for me kan, I tak sama macam korang. I boleh je tinggal kat rumah yang tak ada wifi sebab it's peace of mind for me. Eh, actually tipu je. Oh. I, boleh mati. I, I rasa I pun boleh mati tau kalau I tak ada wifi kan. Tapi I tak tahulah macam mana nak handle. Ni tak ada wifi, tak ada signal tau. Kalau tak ada wifi, ada signal, okay, okay lagi tau. You nak call siapa? Sekarang ada orang call-call lagi ke? Oh, ada. Belum oh. <laughs> <laughs> pasang wifi. Betul, betul, betul. Kat rakat lah dapat. Oh, oh. Bahaya. Ha. Okay. Soalan kedua. Pilihan kedua. Korang lagi rela beli sebuah rumah biasa atau dapat rumah mewah free tapi rumah tu berhantu. Kali ini bukan je housemate berhantu tapi betul-betul ada Annabelle. Hmm. Ha, semua hantu-hantu dari Conjuring, Pontianak. Semua kat dalam. Okay, Daniel. Cuma. Okay, saya memang penakut so I rumah biasa lah. <laughs> rumah biasa? Uh, rumah biasa. Saya boleh buat grand-grand tau. Kalau Tapi rumah kalau biasa. rumah mewah tu dia ada macam uh, your own personal uh, butler. Tak boleh. Tak boleh. <laughs> rumah biasa. Malah tau, butler tu bukan ha, butler tu bukan manusia lah. <laughs> I think yang ada hantu lah kot. 
Dia boleh jadi macam tourist attraction tau. Oh. Macam you boleh make, make money. You rumah ke Airbnb? <laughs> nak tourist attraction buat apa? Takkan ni museum. Takkan nak stay there forever kan? Like, ada ada, ada hantu. Ha, capitalist kan? That's a swine. From rumah jadi apa tu? Tourist attraction. Yes. Tidak boleh kan? Com- tak, because you cannot come. Ha, ha, kenapa tak boleh? boleh? That's why we have an expert here. Nanti kita bincang kat dia. Kenapa tak boleh? Kenapa tak boleh tukar rumah you untuk jadi tourist attraction? Ah, because commercial lot. Oh. Ah, kalau you beli kena tinggal je, tak boleh macam buat business. Ayo. You kena tanya hantu tu. Ni title apa? Ah, ah. Title apa? Title apa? Commercial title, kita boleh buat business. Ah, ah. Hantu kena approve. What about you? I memang tak berhantu pun I pilih rumah biasa. Kenapa? I, I penat nak kemas ni. Oh, ini faham. mahal ni nak pasang klorin tiap bulan, ni nak kemas, oh, oh tak ada masa. Itulah sebab kita ada pakar kat sini. Sebab dia ni observant <laughs> gila. Ha. Dia, <laughs> kita, we we just think about oh big Hantu. house, hmm. tapi dia pa, t- fikir pasal klorin lah, <laughs> klorox kah, Ayo. semua kan. But for me kan, I boleh je tinggal dengan hantu semua ni. Ada peneman? Ah, uh, tapi tapi akan maki dia. Kalau you tinggal kat rumah, I, you bayar sewa juga. Oh, kan? kan? Biar aku seorang je yang tanggung semua ni, kau buat apa? Suka-suka kau muncul dan menakutkan aku. Ha, ah, tampak baik. Next, ha? Ah. Korang lagi rela tinggal dekat kawasan kilang perindustrian yang ada banyak asap atau duduk dekat tapak pelupusan sampah yang berbau busuk macam bangkai? Bangun pagi, bau mati. Okay, which one? Sekejap. Fa- factory oh yang banyak asap ah. atau tempat banyak trash? Uh, yes. Oh, okay. yes. Asap tu asap apa? Asap tu yang akan membunuh kau. Oh. In the long run. Sebab I, I pernah ada tempat, I, I went to stay the place lah, macam Airbnb, uh-huh. dekat dengan factory coklat. Oh. Yeah. So, dia punya, the smoke semua keluar. Let's say you tinggal dengan best. Willy, Wong, Willy Wonka kan? Yes. Very good. Okay. Chocolate My best factory. bro. Okay. <laughs> ah. And that smell good. So, so, so you will stay with asap yang bercoklat. Yes. Berperisa coklat. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Dan dia dia judging ya kenapa? Uh, okay. Tapi I I rasa I pun option B lah. Takkanlah nak bau sampah setiap hari tu. Okay. Yang tu lagi teruk daripada asap yang membunuh. Ah, faham you faham. Could. So you 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 rela right? dapat long term illness lepas tu ke apa? I rasa rela kot. Okay. Faham. Janji ada takaful lah. Eh? <laughs> I pun, I pilih B lah. Sebab, I think the shorter I live, then the less money I need to save up for retirement. Eh, you janganlah oh. deep sangat boleh. Oh. <laughs> Since tadi dia dah deep <laughs> tau. Ini oh. icebreaker je. Tapi dia dah deep, dia dah bagi macam, uh, siapa suruh you huraikan dapat 50 maka ni? <laughs> ha. Tak, tapi betul lah. Saya tak tapi sanggup betul, nak betul. busuk hari-hari. Banyak tapi saya akan tinggal kat sini sebab perangai saya trash. Oh, Sampah. <laughs> so, saya belong di sini. Wow. Uh, okay. Soalan kan, saya pun trash juga lah. So, that's why fitting. Eh. Okay. Last option. Eh. Korang lagi rela share bilik air dengan 10 orang housemate atau kongsi katil dengan seorang roommate yang pengotor gila. Okay, kalau yang 10 ni, hmm. not necessarily pengotor kan? Maybe? How you know? Out of 10? Maybe. <laughs> Betul. At least two pengotor, I think, kalau 10. Okay, okay kalau it's toilet boleh basuh. Ah. Ha, macam bilik ni, sekarang ni ada banyak orang. Maybe two pengotor. Macam mana? Uff. Uh. Ah. Tak tahu siapa. Oh. Tak tahu siapa. Tak ada flush. Tak boleh, tak boleh. Tidur sebelah, I tak boleh. Uh, so, I'll take 10 orang. You okay? Boleh, I boleh tolong cuci. Dengan Clorox yang you guna yeah. untuk yang rumah mewah Betul. tu? Betul. Okay, <laughs> faham, faham, faham. Okay. I rasa sama jugalah. Sebab kotor eh, nak share your bed yeah, to, I to share safe space tau, safe space. Pun. Dia actually pengotor tau. Oh! <laughs> no, that's not true. I tahu, I tahu, I tahu lah korang, okay, I, I tahu korang artis-artis ni <laughs> nak nak dapat uh, controversial ke, uh, ke apa, but janganlah buka aib kawan you. Ooh, sorry lah. Yeah. Yeah. Kalau we know Iskandar pengotor. <laughs> okay. Highlight. Uh, highlight, Iskandar dari Isau dia pengotor. Uh. So, guys, okay, so I'm, I'm mandi your... banyak kali guys. Okay, what's your choice? My choice, uh, share bilik air. Share bilik air? Dengan 10 orang. Yes. Okay. Sama. Share bilik air At least, orang. tak payah tidur lah dalam tu. <laughs> Actually, it's true also. Kalau saya nak tidur, I want to like sleep in peace. Yeah. I pun tak nak orang yang pengotor kat bilik saya. Yeah. Uh, I will... Mm. 
Yes. Mana boleh? Betul. Kan? <laughs> ha, kalau I bau busuk macam, what is going on? You pergi mandi ke apa? And sometimes orang degil. Kalau you tegur dia, nanti dia tak suka. Sebab ada orang pun dia tak tahu dia sebenarnya macam... Betul. Hmm. Not very hygienic. Hmm. Betul. Ha, mungkin they have their own personal issue kan. Kita hmm. tak nak shame-shame dia orang. Janganlah shame orang. Kita nak buka air macam... Ah. Yeah. I, I, I thought buat macam ni. <laughs> hey bro, ah. hey bro. <laughs> Ya, <laughs> yeah, I tak buat macam tu. Ha, benar je. Okay, thank you for playing the game with me. So, kita dah tahu perangai and preference korang. Okay, you tak nak tinggal dengan hantu. Hmm, I nak tinggal betul. dengan hantu. You tak nak tinggal rumah mewah and all. <laughs> Tapi, I nak buat siasat dengan, uh, you know, with you all. Okay, so sekarang ni kita ada isu panas. Orang mesti akan mula fikirkan when dia 20, 30 years old. Atau taklah umur you, you tak payah dedahkan pun. Okey, apa-apa. Ya? Ha. Topik kita uh, kita orang hari ini, beli atau sewa rumah. So, I nak tahu living situation korang. Okay. So, that's why I say, hari ini pun edisi siasat. Sebab I nak tahu, do you buy or do you rent a house? Let's start with our perunding negotiator. I... Lima rumah, you beli. Saya... <laughs> Duduk rumah sendiri okay. Bawah nama suami Oh, okay. Tapi saya juga Ada rumah sendiri okay. Dan tenant saya adalah Nenek dan atuk saya Oh, okay. Dia bukan hashtag kapitalis Saya tadi, eh, ah. kapitalis juga ah, ah. Kapitalis, so tak boleh nak cari harga Wait, wait, nenek tak tu kena bayar ke tak sewa? Bayar Bayar sikit Tak bagi chance lah Oh my god Ingatkan dia, I thought she slow slow bagi suspense <laughs> macam oh I no bagi. No I kan I kaya nanti I boleh lah bagi free buat okay, masa okay, ni okay. we're struggling. Mm. Tapi dia dia bayar dia ikhlas ke tak? Ikhlas. Okay, Kita lah. pun bagi discount sikit lah. Ah discount sikit discount. lah best ni ah, dapat cucu cucu macam ni ya. Eh. Okey okey okey. Cucu ah, cucu. Ah what about you? Duit. Ah cucu yang minta, minta cucu yang minta duit. <laughs> Betul lah cucu kan minta duit kan. <laughs> ah daripada you macam ah minta myself Pay in the form of rental kan? Yeah. Betul, betul, betul. What about you, Daniel? I tengah sewa dengan my mom. Okay. Uh, so, I punya idea memang I tak nak beli rumah. Memang? Macam until, until tua? Until I dah tua, dah ada anak, semua dah ada rumah sendiri, I beli rumah. Anak? <laughs> ru- anak ada oh, rumah, <laughs> baru you beli rumah? Ha. Oh. oh, okay, wait. Interesting. <laughs> sebab, <laughs> sebab kalau I dah ada anak, And then I beli rumah, nanti dia orang keluar rumah tak nak balik. So, rumah besar buat apa tinggal seorang-seorang. Ha tu lah join ah. kan tadi ada. Jadi <laughs> sebab tu tadi aku tak minta. Oh, okay. Okay. Ah, tak ada. <laughs> It's kan. Ah uh, so I think I'm renting dengan my family. Family jugaklah. Yeah. Okay so there's a ah uh, one that has a property Renting, renting. I pun ada property juga lah. But against my will. Itu cerita lain lah. But I te- kat KL, I memang sewa rumah. Mm. Sebab I also, I am the kind of person yang believe in um, renting. Kalau mm. boleh, kita rent. Yes. Right? Tak ada commitment. Tak ada commitment. Okay, I nak mulakan episode. Mulakan. I rasa tadi kita dah mulakan lah. <laughs> We already started all the conversation. I rasa dah yeah? mula dua, tiga kali dah mula. Ah, <laughs> dengan satu unpopular Unpopular opinion. Unpopular ke popular? Sebab korang akan nilaikan. Ya. Hmm. Beli rumah sendiri sebenarnya bukan satu benda yang wajib. Duduk rumah sewa seumur hidup pun sepatutnya jadi benda yang kita normalize. Setuju ke tak? Let's start with our perunding hartanah. I just love okay. saying that, sorry. <laughs> perunding hartanah is a nice title. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It is. It's so formal. It's like, like mm. perunding hartanah. I, I sound serious. <laughs> serious. 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 Okay. Okay. Uh. Anyway. Saya rasa kalau kita tanyakan soalan ni general, hmm. tak ada jawapan. Tak ada jawapan. Sebab takkan I nak decide untuk you. Eh, you patut sewa lah Sandy. Hmm. Sebab tak ada duit you kan? You patut kan? beli lah Sandy. Okay. Tak boleh. So, sewa atau beli ni memang kena ikut poket sendiri. Kalau you rasa you nak sewa sampai mati pun boleh. Hmm. Kalau you nak membeli pun boleh. Ah, hashtag ha? pantun dua kerat. Tu oh. dia. Dia bukan je dia bukan je perunding hatana. Dia poet. Ah. Ah, dia poet hatana. Singa poet hatana. Ah. Next time you buat pitching kat customer you rewrite pantun kau. Ah. Dan nanti you dengar insomnia featuring poet hatana. Oh. Eh eh eh, please come back to the show ah. Kau korang jangan bincang business lain. Ah. Okay. What about you? Let's start with you, Iskandar. 
Uh, Betul ke tak orang kata beli rumah ni sebenarnya bukan satu benda yang wajib? I agree lah. Bukan benda satu orang wajib. Okay. Yeah. I, I think I know your answer tapi you jawab je lah. Apa I punya answer? <laughs> you mesti katalah bukan satu benda yang wajib. Sebab you kan nak beli rumah after your anak ada rumah. <laughs> you know? I mean, dia punya unpopular-popular opinion sekarang. Ha, unpopular popular Kalau popular when you are young lah sekarang starting ha, 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 ha. out, memang takkan lah nak beli rumah. Hmm. Yeah, like, kalau dulu memang... Parents ada lah yang cakap, you guys kena beli rumah, okay? Sebab that's like to show you guys stable, stable, kaya. Mm, mm. I mean sekarang you rent rumah lagi kaya. <laughs> I rasa lah. Mm. I rasa lagi kaya kalau you rent. Okay, itulah my popular opinion. Tapi that's, tak popular. Uh. I tak tahu lah popular ke unpopular. Different people <laughs> kan. Uh, I different. rasa benda ni sekarang changing mengikut generasi juga. Yes. Maybe our, oh bukan tu eh, umur saya. Generasi Sedi. Generasi Sedi. Generasi Sedi. Alright, kita guna term tu from now on. <laughs> from the start of the show, I jadi orang baik, I tak nak dedahkan usia dia. <laughs> tapi uh, umur dia, tapi tiba-tiba I yang kena. Okay, okay, generasi Sedi, okay, kenapa? Okay, okay, jenis Sedi, ah, okay, okay. Generasi Sedi, ah, generasi ah. kami. Hmm. Uh, we were raised by Boomer dengan Gen X. Jadi betul, betul, mereka betul. memang mampu beli rumah, yes. dah beli rumah hmm. dan ada kejayaan membeli rumah. So hmm. kita pun macam, oh okey lah kita belilah. Tapi younger generation now are being raised by people like millennials hmm. ataupun tua sikit hmm. and nampak tak ada keuntungan pun beli rumah ni. Hmm. So the popular opinion, maybe for us popular opinion, uh, unpopular opinion but for you guys mungkin unpopular opinion dah. Berbeza mengikut generasi. Yeah. Betul, betul, hmm. betul. Well, that's a very good point. Hmm. Tadi you bring up something, you kata, uh, you know, uh, last time pun, pun my parents will say, kalau you beli rumah tu tanda you dah stable. Hmm. But yeah. I disagree sekarang sebab kalau you beli rumah, sometimes you tak, tak stable. Macam hmm. during PKP, kat taman I kan, banyak orang yang beli rumah during masa PKP, uh, no, before PKP, Hmm. During PKP, dia tak nak mampu balik, uh, hmm. bayar balik. Hmm. Then, house banyak lelong semua. It's a sad story lah. Hmm. Tapi ada satu lagi, social expectation. Kalau you nak kahwin, kena beli rumah dulu. What oh. is your opinion? I feel like sekarang ni, ni yang susah tu. Like, takkan kita dah nak beli rumah sebelum kahwin. Setelah so, kita orang confirm kahwin 40 lebih. Sebab <laughs> orang akan judge you, orang akan kata, ah, okay, hantaran tak cukup, rumah pun tak ada, dia nak kahwin I. Susah weh. Ha. Ah. Kalau macam tu <laughs> ayah akan bagi tahu okey dia yang kena beli rumah bukan ai. Oh. Ah. Yeah. yeah, to change the social expectation change. kan. Change it. Ah. Yes. Kalau dia complain lah dia kata kenapa you tak ada rumah? Ah sebab my wife ada rumah lah tak apalah. Ah, ah boy very smart. You what about it? What what is your opinion pendapat awak pasal social expectation ni? Okay, hmm. first and foremost, social expectation ni kadang-kadang merepek lah. Ah, The yes. social expectation is from different generation. Betul, betul, yang betul. Yang dulu diorang mampu. So, kahwin dan beli rumah dua-dua adalah big purchase. Hmm. Betul. Takkan you nak kahwin. Kahwin pun minimum berapa? Go back to episode one ah. Ha? Ah, kahwin tu ah. Ha? Ha, yes, kahwin yes. pun berapa apa? Dia kata fresh flowers dia $25,000. Ah, ha? ah, $25,000. Ah. Hello. Yalah. You don't have to lah. Tak perlulah kita betul, nak betul, fresh betul. flowers. Tapi itu pun social expectation. Hmm. Anak mami kena grand kahwin. Ha, ah, kan? that's right. Anak mami kena grand kahwin. Anak mami kena ada rumah. Dah, anak mami ni memulakan kehidupan dengan berhutang. Hmm. Betul. So, betul. social expectation ni kadang-kadang merepek. Yes. Uh, I rasa tu yang I paling tak nak. Macam like start a family uh, kahwin dengan hutang. Itu yes. yang I takut. Right now pun I tak berhutang dengan my studies. So, tak berhutang right kan berhutang? Tak berhutang. Ya, dah Very good. Lah. Yeah. You ada ambil PTPT kan? Tak ada. Tak adalah. Hmm. So, you Kosong. Ta- Best. Very good at... That's why you're on the show hari ni. Sebab yeah. you pakar dalam personal finance pakar. kan? Thank you. Yes. Terima kasih. Okay. So, Ana tanya you. Sebab you said that you are staying with your parents. You pun juga yeah, kan? Sama. Sama. Uh, you, you independent woman. So, yes. we will we'll, we'll leave you later kan? Uh, we'll talk to you later. Uh, so, I nak tanya you, you rasa macam orang kata ke tak, oh, uh, you, 20, don't know, 20 years old lah, 26 kan? Mm, 26. Uh, 26 years old ah, uh, still live with your parents, depend on your parents ah. Uh. Oh, depend lah, uh, no, uh. I pay, oh. Ah! <laughs> no lah, no lah, no, no, memang pay, memang pay. <laughs> <laughs> you rasa macam you ada rasa pressure ke tak? Macam kalau you bagi tahu orang, you, you oh, actually, I'm still staying with my parents. Uh, tak, because for me, 
My mom kena ada dengan I sampai mati. Oh my god, ini uh. adalah bakal kalau single ke tak? Single? Uh, single. Single. Ah, dia dia sangat single. Dia sangat single. Dia single. Dia sangat 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 leave your family home untuk just to burden yourself even more mm. just because of societal expectation i rasa pun dia, that's not a good idea juga that's not a good idea yeah, right macam untuk apa kan. it's like ego ah betul betul i think mm biarlah orang pressure biarlah kan mm pocket masing-masing kan yes kalau kita keluar pun tapi kita tak boleh nak menaikkan level kita kita hidup lagi susah kalau your parents allow it, apa salahnya? Kan. Hmm. Yang penting like for me kan, even I'm in KL, my, every time I go back pun, my parents say, kalau you nak, you can come back and all. Last time lah, last time when they talk, kerjaya saya tak stable sebab content creator siapa faham kan. Hmm. They're like, oh, don't worry. Kalau you flop, you boleh balik tinggal kat, kat rumah I. Thanks. Then, so, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Macam bad handle sikit. Tapi thank you. you kan? Okay. So tadi, you kata you memang no shame hmm. tinggal dengan parents you. Uy. Lapa, okay. Tak dengar, tak dengar. Ah, tak dengar, tak dengar. So, what about kalau you dah kahwin? Okay. Will you still sewa rumah and stay with your parents? Yes. No shame. No kalau shame. Kalau dia tak nak kahwin dengan I sebab I tinggal dengan my mom, ciao. Oish. Wow. No chill lah. Oh, Net ciao. balance and no chill. <laughs> yeah, no chill no right chill. now. Okay. I gotta respect my mom. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> What you love? You don't respect your mom. No, no, no. Hey, hey, hey. I love my mom. Uh, hey, watch out. Uh, you, you love your mom. Of course, of course. Yeah. I, I love her. Okay, so will you stay? Still stay with your parents even though you dah married? Tak good. Uh, that's why kita tak. nak tanya ni sebab ada mesti ada conflicting opinion. Dynamic tu susah weh actually I think. Kalau um, takut dia get to the point where Korang punya relationship dengan parents tu affect your relationship juga dengan your spouse. Like I'm scared of that. Macam I don't want to let other people punya uh, words and actions macam hmm. masuk in between kita orang punya relationship. Betul. Yeah. Siapa? That isn't? Uh, no. Macam family lah. Family. Oh, family. Uh, macam like okay. when you live with your family kan? Betul. Mm-hmm. And then when you get married semua, I would prefer lah kalau uh, bukan nak beli rumah tapi sewa lah. Mm-hmm. Faham, hmm. faham, faham. What about you? What do you think? Will you judge people ke tak? Macam dia kata, eh, ada kahwin, ada 10 anak and you know, uh, I'm still staying with my parents ke, apa ke? Honestly, akan judge lah kalau 10 anak, kau tak keluar-keluar lagi macam... Suka hati, I love, I love my mom, like him! Yeah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Tapi wife dia dah beli rumah. Ah, yeah. Ah. Sorry. Kalau you dah, your wife dah beli rumah, kenapa you still sewa rumah with your parents? Saya mak dia. Ah. Oh, agak lah. Ah. <laughs> Tengok lah, ah, you dug your own grave. Tahu tu tu. Tak ada, tak ada masalah. Uh, dari segi, I mean, I won't judge. Mm-hmm. Cumanya, sebagai seseorang yang sudah berkahwin, mm. uh, walaupun permulaan perkahwinan tu, you nak save duit, you nak duduk dengan parents, mm. permulaan tu adalah the formative years okay. oh, between formative. Oh, you, you, formative and years. Your, okay. you and your spouse. Mm. Tau. Okay, okay, okay. Lagi-lagi kalau you are Muslim or you've never... Um, bersekedudukan before this okay. sekarang you bersekedudukan dengan your parents your hmm. in-laws it's not a financial thing dia lebih kepada um, mental physical relationship macam Iskan dah cakap tadi hmm. uh, I won't judge that, lah of course lah that was better put though <laughs> agreed <laughs> sebab the effect I mean yelah the effect your dynamic lah macam hmm. Iskan dah cakap tadi faham hmm. faham financial tak up to you hmm. financial okay. is up to you tapi uh, kalau boleh. Ha. Kalau boleh. Ni, ni jawapan untuk orang yang ada, dah berpunya tau. So, saya single, saya tak tahu ada dynamic. Dah dua kali dah jangan single. Okay, we got it. Dia single. Dia single. Dia single. Okay, Did you get it? Dia <laughs> ada dynamic semua. Aduh. <laughs> dynamic saya tak, tak pernah rasa <laughs> dynamic. <laughs> I faham you tak boleh relate. Tak It's boleh okay. relate. Ah, tak ah, boleh relate dengan dynamic-dynamic. Okay. Kita kongsi, kita kongsi. Ya, ya. Okay. 
Okay, so tadi you sebok cakap generasi sedi lah semua ni. Maknanya ada tua lah kan? Tak, tak, tak. So, okay, but our parents memang last time, kalau you, macam you dah cakap lah, satu job pun dia dah boleh beli rumah semua kan. Tapi zaman sekarang, tiga job pun masih tak mampu. You, you boleh bagi tak tahu tak kenapa kita mas, uh, uh, budak-budak sekarang ni struggle untuk beli their own property. Even though dia dah macam adult ke, tiga job ke. Hmm. Boleh. Hmm. Okay. First and foremost, yes. of course, kita akan salahkan kerajaan. <gasps> ceng, ceng, ceng. Ceng, ceng, ceng. Kerajaan salah Apakah apa? Apakah minimum wage negara ini 30 tahun lepas? Oh. 30 tahun lepas. Saya tak tahu. tak, tak Lebih lagi. kurang je. Seribu. Seribu. Masih 20 sorry. tahun. <laughs> Slip tau. Eh, kalau sejarah pun, you kena belajar Mesopotamia. <laughs> you pun belum hidup lagi. So, haa. Uh, Oh, maaf, maaf, maaf. Ah. Tapi jawapan tu betul lah. Betul, betul. Tapi kita tanya, I mean, it's about, I mean, it's about thousand, thousand tu juga. Hmm. Okay. Twenty years ago, ten years ago, masa okay. kita intern, masa kita first job pun sama. Intern malah ada bayar, sometimes lah. Some sometimes, job tak bayar, sometimes. Some interns, ah. Jadi, perbezaan masa mak, bapa kita mm. um, start kerja dengan perbezaan income bila mm. kita start kerja or your generation start kerja hampir sama. Akan tetapi mm. harga rumah sudah menaik empat kali ganda, lima kali ganda. Mm. So kita punya elder generation dah untung ni. Dah mm. dapat banyak keuntungan. Kalau dia jual lah, dia dapat banyak keuntungan. Mm. Kita start dengan uh, income yang rendah. Betul. Harga dan value hartanah yang kian meningkat. Hmm. Kenapa dia kian meningkat? Kerana hartanah adalah satu... Too deep ke? Hartanah tak, 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 adalah... Tak, 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 tak. Boleh tak? Kan? Boleh tak? Kan? Hartanah tak. adalah sesuatu aset yang um, hedges against inflation, stabil and sentiasa naik. Okay. Bila kita ikut prinsip of economy, um, semakin banyak demand tapi tanah dah kurang. Hmm. Jadi, hmm. jadi makin lama makin mahal. That's why I nak tanya, siapa yang decide harga tu? Uh, in Malaysia, kita ada jabatan penilaian. Okay. Uh. Uh. So, benda tu, I mean, because property ni adalah sebuah aset, di mana-mana pun dia akan meningkat. Betul, betul, betul. Uh, hmm. It's just a matter of, you beli property tu dekat area yang sangat uh, menaik hmm. uh, value dia, ataupun uh, naik sikit je. Oh, uh. Jadi, uh. I tak boleh cakap lah yang, oh, my house ni satu juta. Tak boleh. Asal. <laughs> Asal ada jabatan penilaian. Dia akan you, cakap you jangan you. dilulu. Dia ah. kena ada. Ah, ya betul. The lulu. the lulu kena ada facts. Uh, yeah. right? uh, Kalau okay. you punya kampung kat somewhere-somewhere, <laughs> uh, you janganlah cakap satu juta. Okay, okay. Kalau kat Montiara boleh kan? Mon- boleh. Uh, possible. Boleh. Possible. Possible. Kena two million lah. Uh, <laughs> boleh lah. Okay. But that is a very good respon sebab kan uh, nowadays kalau you tengok uh, social media memang lah all the gen z gen z akan cakap je why we can't even afford a house you know hmm. tapi house always go up and then salary tak naik tak hmm. naik yeah. it's the same thing roti canai pun dah mahal sekarang yeah. <laughs> minum ais kan, pun that's why hmm. dulu roti canai satu ringgit Ooh. My era 50 cent. Betul. Same. Your era. My era Zaman sedi 50 cent. Oh. I mean since korang dah start my as well. <laughs> yeah, I remember it's 50 cent. Yeah. Betul. Yeah, Betul. it was 50 pergi, cent. Pergi pergi sekolah bawa RM1 dah cukup dah. Yeah. yeah. Actually, That's... same for me lah. Sekarang adik saya tak boleh. Dia kena bagi RM50, RM50, RM50. Oh, ya. Kau sekolah mana ni? Kau buat apa? Beli makanan je. Makanan je dekat sekolah. Satu minggu lah, satu minggu. Net Balance and Chill episode 26 kita akan cakap pasal school punya expenses kenapa oh, actually it's interesting lah. it's, it's tough man for the kids sekarang pun dia punya cafeteria pun makanan kurang semua and then semua mahal-mahal susah so yeah we already dah establish that kalau nak beli rumah pun sekarang apa tu harga tanah harga tanah kan akan naik ke atau harga ha, apa tu hak tanah which one dua-dua dua-dua mm. okay so memang sekarang ni sebab gaji tak naik maka banyak orang tak boleh afford a house. Betul. Okay, so I'm pretty sure deep down, you, not you, because dia ni memang cakap I tak nak rumah, tak nak rumah, tak nak rumah. <laughs> do you think about buying a house one day? Yes, I do. Eventually lah. Okay, so I nak uh, tanya you. Uh, how old? Mm. Sadies? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> 
I, I, I suka kacau, sorry ya. Tak apa. Nak gaduh ni, dia mau gaduh. You will come to my age one day, tak apa. Ah. Ada sakit belakang. Ah. You, you sakit belakang. Ah. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Sakit belakang. Ha. Pandai je cakap itu betul sebenarnya. Betul. Sebenarnya hari aku bangun okay. pagi, sakit je badan I. Yoko, Yoko. Ah, dah start dah, dah start. Dah start, ah, dah start lah. Ah. Okay. Uh, tapi yes, uh, usia Sadi. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> tak, tak. tak boleh dia tak lagi, lagi tua sikit kot ah. I, I don't know lah dia, dia macam I, I tak ada lah macam limit I nak set for myself juga I macam Bila kaya tu boleh beli Beli je lah Beli je lah hmm. Okay kalau lah macam Kita nak cakap isu pasal FOMO Okay hmm. uh, Fear of missing out Kepada siapa, siapa yang tak tahu FOMO tu Okay kalau lah you know You tengah Contoh you tengah cari rumah Okay lepas tu ada agent Atau kawan kata Eh hey, you tak beli sekarang Property kat sini akan jadi sangat mahal Dalam 2-3 tahun lagi Nanti ada MRT, LRT, shopping mall, school for your adik tu. Tu hmm. beli RM50 punya bekalan semua. Uh, unit macam ni memang tinggi demand dia. Kalau tunggu memang rugi. How will you respond? I rasa you beli kan? I, I rasa FOMO is a bad way to make a purchase. But it happens. <laughs> eh, it apa yang know. kita tengok kat social media ke, our media as a whole is actually hmm. to create FOMO. Hmm. Uh, influencer jual barang, FOMO. FOMO, <laughs> you know, I guilty sikit lah sebab sometimes my content pun macam ni lah kan. Ah. Ah. Kita orang pun guilty. Ah. Ah, so, guilty. That's why I like, lagi faham so, sikit lah. So macam mana you nak respond kalau dia bagi tahu you all the pros semua? Hmm. I rasa I beli oh. You beli? <laughs> oh, tak payah tunggu alat lah kan? Ah. Daniel nanti I call you kejap lagi. Ah. Okay. Then, then ni, dia apa-apa kalau ada sales person pergi kat dia oh, nak jual I barang, know. dia akan beli punya. Yeah. Oh, you ada sales mas- hari ni? Oh. You have the future sale already? Serius lang. Ah. I'm the best and easiest customer. Oh my god. Oh, maknanya yeah. memang pocket dia ada duit lah. Hmm. Dia bukan orang... You cakap kat rumah ni, you akan lamp- nampak lagi handsome. Dia akan beli. Beli. <laughs> Macam mana? Kalau dia dia, dia, ni? Ah. Dia pernah satu orang ni datang, eh ni akan buat you lagi tinggi. Oh, eh, beli. Tapi tak tinggi. Ubat tinggi? Oh, sakit tu. Oh. <laughs> Kenapa you percaya benda macam ni? Easy customer, Ma. Oh, my goodness. Uh, okay, you. tak apa. Tak apa. Kita nanti scam. Okay. Okay. So, you akan beli ke tak? Beli. Ataupun you will be like, I will consider, I will call Natasha to like discuss. Confirm, I would like to do that lah. Yes. You would like to I do that? I will consider. 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 Tapi memang kalau kita beli sekarang, ah nanti naik. <laughs> Tapi the era different. My era, I remember, my parents suka cakap benda macam ni tau. Ah, uh, You tak payah beli dulu sebab bubble akan burst. Oh. When hmm. I was younger, I tak faham apa tu bubble burst. Hmm. Okay, okay, boleh cuba terangkan sikit tak? Why boleh. Bubble? Uh. bubble. Okay, I might get this wrong. <laughs> Tapi basically, bubble ni bila terlalu banyak uh, supply, hmm? demand is not as much. Okay. And therefore, bila dia nak offload all these uh, properties, mm. terpaksa kurangkan, kurangkan, kurangkan. Oh, okay. Right? So, jadi ada case yang uh, uh, property tu the, the price drop? Ada, tapi yang mak bapak kita kata, yang diperkatakan semasa PKP, mm. you ada dengar tak masa PKP orang kata, nanti murah, nanti ah, yes, tunggu. Yes, 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 yes. Go, 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 Did go, go, it go, happen? Go, go, go. Uh, uh, if it happen, then... You know, uh, my taman tak adalah banyak rumah lelong Correct. kan. Correct. Hmm. So, sebenarnya dekat Malaysia ni, uh, I think we are controlled by bank negara um, well. Hmm. Enough that we do not go through this bubble. Okay. Because there's a lot of, ada banyak cooling measures lah sebenarnya okay. yang okay. bank negara uh, implement. Okay. Um, jadi, bubble talks will always happen setiap 10 tahun. Oh. Uh, kalau kita tengok, kita flashback, every 10 years akan ada economic crisis. Okay. So kita ada um, the world uh, economic crisis, kita ada Asian financial crisis, kita ada PK, uh, kita ada COVID kan. Kita ada Every, personal crisis lagi. Kita ada personal crisis. Oh, ah. Ah. Ah, so setiap 10 tahun memang ah. akan ada that cycle tu okay. and setiap 10 tahun tu orang akan cakap eh bubble burst you tunggu. You ah, tunggu, you tunggu nanti. Lepas tu kita pun tunggu. Tak it didn't happen. If it happen, Sadie and I maybe dah 5 6 rumah. Betul hey, tak? Wow. Tak lah, I memang eh, tak, humble eh. je. Oh, ya, saya tak <laughs> <ayo. laughs> <Ayo. laughs> <Ayo. laughs> <laughs> satu. I, lima nama. But, um, itulah. So, bubble, bubble tu maknanya macam mitos lah. Tak adalah mitos, tapi uh, idea atau perception masyarakat kepada bubble ni hmm. adalah macam, oh, kalau bubble ber, saya boleh beli rumah landed kat PJ, RM300,000. PJ RM300,000? <laughs> Berangan tu percuma. You wish the lulu. Yeah. No such thing. Ah, ah, tu So, I think 
apa yang orang rasa adalah bubble tu hmm. Needs to be managed lah. Expectation tu hmm. needs to be managed faham, lah. Faham, faham. Ada lah counter measure dia. Kan? Ada. Bubble-bubble ni berlaku. Very, very rarely ada. Okay. Tapi not to the extent yang, yang kita impikan. Hmm. Ha. Tapi zaman dah berubah. Like, I, mean, I no longer hear like uh, bubble-bubble ni sebab, you know, no, we don't hear so much about crisis now lah. Hmm. Tapi selalu kalau I pergi shopping mall ke apa, mesti ada agent yang kata, Nak invest mau, in, in Cantonese, oi tauci mau. <laughs> Maknanya you nak invest ke tak? Uh, I, I kata, ha, tauci apa? Belilah property sebab kalau tak, you know, dekat genting, you beli, uh, kalau tak rugi. Oh. Kenapa dia akan pancing orang dengan statement macam ni? Sales is sales lah. Okay. I yeah. jual getar rambut ke, I jual jam ke, I jual rumah ke. Hmm. Itu adalah taktik marketing. Itu adalah cara untuk menarik perhatian klien. Hmm. Dan kalau saya dapat klien seperti Daniel, sangat mudah untuk oh, saya yeah. punching dia. Uh, punching dia, okay. Uh, dengan uh. menggunakan kaedah-kaedah FOMO. Uh. Ah. So, kaedah-kaedah FOMO ni memang uh, it works sebab dalam dunia property ni, hmm. developer ni memang banyak duit. Betul? Okay. So, dia boleh throw in all these freebies. Dan freebies ni memang sangat menarik. Hmm. Okay. I sendiri terbangkan. Bagi contoh freebies. Freebies, yang... contoh. Ah. Okay. You rasa kalau dapur kondo, kitchen cabinet, you kena spend berapa? Cuba teka. Hmm. 30,000. Okay. No. No lah. No. Okay. L- rasa, more than that. Oh. Okay, Boleh jadi up to that lah. Ah. So, ah. developer ni, dia akan bagi. Okay, hmm. hari ni, Miss. Okay, Sadie, kalau you book dengan I hari ni, I bagi you kitchen cabinet, I bagi you island. Stove fridge, semua. Hood and ah. hop. Hot and hot. Washer, ah, yes. washer dryer. Yes. Hmm. Kucing, anjing. Semua I bagi free. Ah. Oh. So, Lantai semua, macam, marble. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> This is, I'm. Uh, if you've heard about girl maths, uh, if I don't take it today, uh, I am losing 50,000. Oh. So, memang FOMO tu is real, guys. Okay. Ah. I mean, it sounds like a good and deal. And it works. Yeah. Yeah. It does, kan? So, See? She is her working a magic. Ah. Korang dah kena yeah. pancing. Ah. Ah. Ada, <laughs> ada. Jangan risau. Call ada. me. Tapi, so, <laughs> ah. so, bila you are face dengan keadaan macam ni, mm. you dapat beli rumah. You memang nak beli rumah ni. Macam, mm-hmm. eh, ni bagus ni. I memang nak duduk sini. Eh, dapat pula extra 50,000. Mm. Ah, kalau tiba-tiba dapat cashback, rebate, eh, macam-macam ni. Memang mencanak-canak lah. You memang FOMO akan get marah lah di situ. Betul, betul, betul. Ha. Betul, eh. Get marah. <laughs> <laughs> Jangan, eh, aku tak tancang tu lah. <laughs> okay, tapi I nak tanya you. Do you think kan, selalu kalau you beli rumah, selalu kalau you pergi macam uh, property ke apa kan, dia akan cakap benda ni. This block dah nak sold out tau. Yeah. Only uh. tinggal dua unit. Itu betul ke tipu? I tak tahulah orang lain macam mana. Tapi I kalau sold out, I cakap sold out. Kalau ada lagi, okay, you boleh balik. You boleh fikir dulu. Uh, kalau dah nak sold out, I call you. I tak pernah kena agent yang akan cakap you boleh balik yeah, rumah fikir. Pernah. Dia akan cakap, <laughs> I bagi you hood and hop. Uh, kamu kamu sudah marble. balik rumah di uh, sini. Uh, Bagaimana uh, uh, sekarang? Uh, hood and hop. Balik uh, island sekarang. Uh, island, uh, island, uh, island uh, sekarang. Uh, dah nak sold out, tinggal dua unit je. You nak ke tak? Dia juga tanya dia, okay, tapi face mana? Kubur! <laughs> I mean, memang the idea is to close the deal lah. Tapi, I, I tak pandai lah pushy-pushy. Tapi, I'm sure a lot of people do that lah. To close hmm. the deal that you kena buat apa yang you kena buat. Tapi, I I suka uh, create comfort dengan klien. Oh, oh, uh, oh. You percaya oh. dengan ah, you cari I balik. You akan bagi tahu kawan-kawan you. You akan bagi tahu adik you yang betul, belajar betul. RM50 betul. kat sekolah tadi. Macam ah, betul. 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 Dia dah start lah. This is a pitch deck. Ha. Dia yeah. dah start lah. She's already pitching herself I already. I send you in advance. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm <laughs> collecting. <laughs> Since we're talking about pancing-pancing tu kan, so I nak tanya you, apakah uh, buzzwords lah yang orang akan guna untuk pancing customer. Macam Anna bagi tahu story tau. Hmm. Last time ada rumor ada, ada this property Andy Lau Hong Kong. Dia kat, orang kata dia beli rumah kat sana Ooh. untuk tarik customer. Tapi memang Andy Lau pun mat, where got time always come to Malaysia tapi sebab orang guna nama Andy Lau Jackie Chan orang beli. So what are the words that people always use tapi you rasa macam eh janganlah fall for it. Sebab, sometimes it's just yeah. buzzword je. Um, these are words yang memang saya gunakan. Oh, oh, oh. oh. They are guilty, eh? dia yang gunakan. Interesting. Yeah. Tapi, saya rasa benda tu tak 
bukanlah benda yang negatif. It's not penipuan pun. Sebab hmm. macam, okay hmm. contoh. Kalau kata property tu memang betul sebelah sekolah, hospital, hmm. MRT, LRT. Hmm. Ini adalah benda-benda yang memang boleh menaikkan uh, nilai hartanah. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Um, macam contoh, oh room kat sini kan, Sadie beli kat sini dengan saya juga. Ah, ah. Ah, kata Sadie tu siapa? Sadie tu hmm. investor. <laughs> ah, investor ah, terkemuka. Okay. So, <laughs> boleh je kita pakai benda-benda macam ni. Tapi, okay, that's on the seller side. Hmm. On your side, as a buyer, you janganlah rasa macam, okay, MRT nak siap dah, so I kena beli hari ni juga. Ah, Sadie is here sama. Sadie is here, oh, I need to be Sadie neighbors with him. Kita nak masuk Oh my god. Oh my god, Sadie is here, Sadie yes. is here. Okay. Ada MRT, tapi ada kita. Booking, booking. Ah, so, benda-benda tu memang, uh, especially kalau you dapat perunding yang memang banyak facts. Perunding yang banyak, okay. Ah, mm-hmm. Sebab memang kita, I, I cannot just sell you, okay, this is the brochure, I show you like that. Hmm. I have to give you what's the value of the surrounding hmm. area. Betul, betul tak? Betul, Kalau betul. tak, baik you tengok sendiri je online, hmm. kan? Yeah. Tapi you sebagai pembeli, you kena muhasabah diri. You kena tengok, is this in line with my vision? Is this in line with my property investment journey? Betul. Adakah ini yang um, memenuhi kehendak dan uh, apa ni investment appetite you sebagai pembeli if you hmm. want to invest ke if you want to for stake ke tak cikgu tengah ajar thinking note thinking note nampak yeah. muka yeah. fokus tu yeah. saya yeah. episod ni boleh tengok balik mm. boleh betul boleh, boleh. Yes. so apa-apa pun it's not just property tau apa-apa you nak beli pun kereta pun yes. eh ah, kalau you beli sekarang ada ni SST tak ada ah, kan ah, ah. engkau pun oh beli lepas tu 9 years commitment rumah pun sama mah hmm. 35 years commitment eh 35 years longer than some people's marriage oh. <gasps> oh, it's true <laughs> it's true Nowadays, uh, divorce uh, again. Net balance and divorce. That is not next next season. Oh, that one uh, we can join also. Uh, uh, yes. <laughs> well, uh, longer than two of my moms. Hey! 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 What she say is, <laughs> kalau lah korang kena pancing ke apa, uh, korang kena fikir dulu, is it really important for you ke tak? Betul. Hmm. Ah, sebab kan, jangan disebab, disebabkan Andy lah beli ke, kalau Jelo, ah, kalau Jelo beli tu property, I akan pergi. So, what if five years she come one time ke apa kan? Boleh jumpa hmm. dia kat Leave ke, hmm. boleh Betul. bincang pasal Hood and Hop ke oh. kan? Ah, hmm. Itu semua kan? So, okay. uh, student-student kat sini, Okay, sebab tadi cikgu dah explain so much kan. Yes. So, okay, I need to cikgu. go back to you. Korang pernah cikgu, kenal cikgu. tak siapa yang beli rumah secara terburu-buru? And yeah. then end up sangkut dengan hutang. The okay, H word yang am- amat scary. Ya? Hmm. Okay, tak tahu. Tak tahu? Dia tak tahu. Nak, dia nak buka tak tahu yang lain. terburu-buru lah. Tapi you ta- tadi you pandai buka aib orang. Eh. Oh. Ha, you tak... Ta- ka- buka lagi satu lah. Ha, <laughs> ha, buka lah, buka lah. Just what I tanya. Ha. So, this, this was bila my mom kahwin dengan my stepdad. Okay. And then my grandparents from my stepdad ah, Dia macam have to buy a house. Okay. So my stepdad macam no. Boom. Got rumah. Okay. Lepas tu cannot afford. Okay. And now, boom, kena sell. Oh. Uh, hmm. Kat mana property? Uh, Bukit Daman Sarah. Oh. oh. Is it a good place? Yeah. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> ah, okay. Yeah, I, I also have something similar lah. My family pun pernah beli rumah. Uh, build up from scratch semua. Oosh. Lepas tu, stay macam 4-5 tahun. Lepas tu dah kena jual dah. Because I think, I, I was kind of young at the time. Hmm. I think my parents made a few bad financial decisions lah. Kita okay. orang macam buka restoran yang tak jadi-jadi punya. So, pilih banyak duit, lepas tu kena jual rumah. Oh, hmm. So, is... sekarang actually in Malaysia, I dah uh, tujuh rumah I stayed. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Wait, that tujuh rumah? Me. Uh. Is it all rented or? Six rented. You know, five of them were rented. Uh. Oh, okay, okay. So, what is your opinion after hearing all this about the hutang-hutang thingy? Mm, in my line of work memang selalulah benda hmm. ni berlaku okay. um, the stories yang saya dapat hmm. mostly klien tu dah beli rumah hmm. then dia cari kita balik hmm. dia minta kita sewakan rumah yang dibeli tu okay. hmm. uh, sebab either tak mampu uh, ataupun actually nak duduk closer to work masa hmm. dia beli tu dia salah hmm. dia beli sebab murah je dia hmm. tak beli sebab 
uh, in line dengan plan dia dengan okay. family dia okay. so uh, selalu juga benda ni berlaku actually that's why saya selalu cerita pasal awareness of purchasing lah okay. sebab kalau tersilap langkah it's uh, quite quite difficult to liquidate kan hmm. asset macam ni faham hmm. faham yeah. okay selalu ada okay I I pernah dengar istilah ni lah debt to service ratio apa Dead itu? Lu boleh terangkan service. to our viewers. Basically, hmm. sekiranya anda ingin mengambil loan, hmm. uh, there's an amount dari gaji kita yang untuk loan sahaja. Okay. Supaya you ada duit lebih untuk belanja, saving etc. So, mm-hmm. contoh, gaji you RM5,000, uh, mm-hmm. bank akan ambil 60% sahaja. Okay, this is the amount you boleh ambil untuk loan. Okay. So, 60% of, apa yang cakap tadi, RM5,000. Eh? So, RM3,000. Hmm. RM3,000 ni you boleh buat semua loan. Rumah ke, kereta ke, apa ke. Okay. So, let's say loan rumah you dah RM2,000. So, tinggal lagi RM1,000. Hmm. RM1,000 tu je yang you are left with kalau you nak ambil loan lain macam kereta, oh, uh, credit yeah. card. So, the bank akan mengambil debt to service ratio into account okay. supaya you ada duit untuk survive lah. Hmm. Oh. Kalau semua untuk loan sahaja, you tak boleh hidup you cannot pay back the loan juga. Mm. So what you mean 60% is the safest. 60% dia ikut tangga gaji. Okay. So the lesser you you uh, earn, they take a lesser amount. Mm. Okay. Uh, so 60% uh, some banks will take 5000 and below, some banks will take 3500 and below. Okay. So the more you earn, contohnya if I earn 15000, mm. your debt service ratio can go up to 80%, 90%. Oh. Wow. Because you have more, and percentage means that you have more money to to spend, kan? But is there such hmm. thing lah, macam debt to service ratio yang selamat untuk elakkan rasa sakit kalau you nak bayar rumah ke? Bank tak tengok. I mean, bank dia punya uh, ratio tu hmm. is what they think is selamat. Hmm. Oh, is what they think lah. Tapi you Correct. sendiri pun... Um, dia, dia definition of selamat adalah you boleh bayar balik. Because okay. apa yang bank tak nak adalah... NPL iaitu non performing loans. Okay. So sekiranya you tidak boleh membayar balik mm. loan tersebut dan rugilah. Then they cannot give you then oh. they rugi you so. Mm. So mm. they take a safe amount. But for you is that a safe amount for you? Muhasabah diri. Ha. Ah, that's why kena muhasabah diri. Mm. Okay, when we back we're going to discuss more about beli rumah bet- better ke sewa rumah. Kita we until now belum conclude lagi oh, tau. Belum. Conclude. Belum. Conclude. So stay tuned okay? Sebenarnya masa kita orang mula buat podcast ni, objektif utama kita adalah untuk biasakan dan normalize budaya bincang pasal topik kewangan peribadi. Sebab serius ah, ha? bab duit ni memang susah nak borak. Kadang you rasa diri you kecil dan you rasa shame, kadang you rasa benda tu sensitif. Sometimes you stress sampai tak nak fikir pun. Sebab tu kita nak encourage semua orang bina satu healthy relationship dengan kewangan kita. Jadi, masa kita tengah planning musim baru Net Balance and Chill, kita pun jumpa seorang close friend yang sama kepala dan sehaluan pasal subjek ni. And that friend is none other than AIA Public Takafu, iaitu penaja musim kedua siri podcast ni. Dia orang ikhlas nak educate pasal tabiat berbelanja yang sehat sebab memang brand promise dia orang pun hidup lebih sehat, berpanjangan dan bermakna. Sebab itulah podcast ini ada soalan-soalan yang maybe controversial sikit, tapi dia relevan supaya korang senang nak berbual pasal subjek duit ni dengan diri sendiri, partner korang, keluarga atau dengan siapa-siapalah. So, terima kasih berbanyak AIA Public Takafu for this. Okay, jom kita balik ke awal episod. Natasha, yeah. tadi kan, we talk about, you know, uh, beli rumah ke, rumah tu akan bagi hood, hood and hop. Apa lagi? Marble floor. Washer dryer. Uh, washer dryer. Island. Uh, dryer kan? Island. Okay. <laughs> Contohnya kalau developer tu tak bagi. Kan? Mes, uh, that means kalau uh, orang nak beli rumah, sometimes dia, dia akan kena surprise cost kan? Mm-mm. Apa tu surprise cost dan boleh bagi tak contoh-contoh kepada budak-budak ni yang mungkin... Wait, surprise cost? Dia macam, surprise! Lima, lima yeah. uh, that's why we have to rent. There's no What? surprise cost. Tak. But you can mitigate ni. Maknanya oh, okay, you okay, dah okay. tahu surprise, so no more surprise lah. Oh. That's why she will tell you apakah okay, okay, okay. surprise cost and what are the things. Okay. Ah. So, kita start dengan the legal part dulu. Oh, oh legal part. Okay. Okay. You, beli rumah, so. you beli rumah. You beli rumah. No, all legal. All legal. Ah, all legal. <laughs> legal part sahaja ada a few. So, legal if you're buying with a loan. Hmm. Legal loan fees. Uh, stamp duty. SP, uh, stamp duty on the loan. Mm. Stamp duty 
on the SPA, mm. legal fees on the SPA, mm. valuation fees if you buy sub-sale, mm. then you have insurance. Yes. Uh, insurance ni ada dua, MLTT, MLTA, MRTT, okay. MRTA. You tengah rap lah, sister. This, this, this one you don't have pause, bro. This one you don't have pause, bro. I can't. Pause right here. I, can't. Ah. I, I feel that orang, okay, <laughs> nama, the more you rap, right, the more people are staying away from buying house. Okay, forward, Hartana featuring Insomnia. Eh, terbalik. Eh, terbalik. Ah, control, ah. Control sikit. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So tu part legal fee, okay, part legal valuation, fee. part insurance. Okay. Then the upfront thing actually, okay benda ni kita ada option. Mm. Kalau I beli new property from developer, mm. uh, ni antara pancingan, uh, zero down payment. Oh zero down payment. Oh strono. Oh, oh. New, new property, strono. I like the number. From developer. From developer. Oh, okay. okay. Kalau mm. I beli direct dari developer, sometimes dia bagi zero down payment. Tapi mm. apa? apa dia punya uh, catch lah uh, catch? bukan catch apa ha. dia punya uh, asal usul dia hmm. asal hmm. usul dia adalah you kena bayar sebenarnya 10% duit muka hmm. so contoh kalau harga rumah you 500,000 hmm. 10% is 50 Yes, good good student. 50, yes, lima maka fifty thousand. Okay, fifty thousand is could you do that? just the down payment. Yeah. 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 Hebat, bagus. Fifty thousand is just the down payment. Mm. So tak termasuk dengan kos-kos yang I mention tadi. So selalunya untuk klien, I akan cakap down payment dengan legal fee sahaja. You set aside fifteen percent of the property price. Okay. Okay, and then you have your apa tadi. Hood, Hood and hop, hop. Um, uh, floor, island, island, washer, washer dryer. dryer. Yes. Ah, macam-macam okay. lah. Wow. Macam-macam. Well, I was about to dance. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and then, after that, you also have, bila you nak masuk, actually, I tak tahu kenapa I surprise, tapi macam, oh, mahal eh, pasal lampu dengan kipas. <laughs> mahal. <laughs> mahal. You nak tarik aircon pun, mahal. Mm. That's why you have to ask, ah, benda ni tak ramai orang tahu. Um, this property comes with the uh, aircon punya uh, outlet ke tak? Kalau it doesn't come with the outlet, you have to tarik. The copper is expensive. Ya Allah, mahal lah, mahal lah. Oh. Aku stress lah. Uh, time aku tak duduk, aku nak pasang aircon PKP tu. <coughs> oh, mahal gila. So, these are all the things yang actually if you buy a house, let's say mm. you buy a house 500,000, mm. I would say you need to have at least 75 to 100,000 in hand. Wow. Eh, belum tambah lagi Mereka renovation? Saya tak tambah renovation. Ah, ah, renovation belum lagi ya? Saya tak tambah renovation. Hmm. Kalau kata you nak your marble top, porcelain backsplash, ah, you ah. want to change your toilet, hmm. WC. Ah, bedek. Susah. Ah. Yeah, so, WC. Bedek. Ah. Betul. So, memang sebenarnya if you want your dream house, hmm. mahal. Keep Upfront dreaming. Ah. Yeah, yeah, keep, yeah. Dreaming. Keep, keep dreaming. Keep dreaming. dreaming. Yeah. That's why korang jangan bagi all this nonsense pressure ke, hmm. nak FOMO ke apa, korang tak ada duit kan, jangan pressure yourself because you look at all the cost lah. That's why kalau you tengok kat poster, dia akan letak 465,000 asterisk, 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 asterisk. Maknanya, hmm. that is not the final <laughs> price. You you got to know that, you know. How many extra? 15% lah? Uh? I would say lah 15%. You will set aside 15% lah. Uh. So that is untuk beli rumah. Basic je. Uh. Basic. Uh-uh. Basic 15% ni, kau tak ada lampu, kau tak ada dapur, kau tak ada apa. <gasps> Ah, living in the dark. Living wow. in the dark. Ah, so, macam banyak kawan. <laughs> Siapa? <laughs> dia, dia tak ada lampu toilet, so dia mandi. You ni pandai buka aib lah kawan you. Siapa lah? Lagi satu. Jangan, jangan, jangan. Artis ke apa? Tak, bukan, bukan. Oh, bukan artis lah. Kalau artis <laughs> mandi tak ada air, tak ada lampu tu, I nak tahu siapa. Ah, I nak minta dia. request uh, BFM buat counter, berapa orang aib dia dah buka? Ah, <laughs> ting, 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 ting. Ah. <laughs> Okay, what about orang yang sewa rumah macam dia? Ada surprise cost ke tak? Tak ada kan? Surprise cost is the owner punya attitude. Ah! Oh, that's a good one! That's a good one! I tak boleh buka I sebab I still stay there. Uh, I tak nak piece of my... Dan uh, aku okay. buy it for you. Okay. But Jeez. yeah, but sometimes you akan kenal landlord yang... You know... Yang you know lah. Yeah. <laughs> dia macam ada cerita lah. Bukan, kena, uh, bukan I lah. Dia macam... You nak jual property tu, you bagi tahu lah your tenant awal-awal. Hmm. You jangan bagi orang yes. pindah masuk. Lepas tu tiga bulan, tiba-tiba orang tengah tidur, dia boleh buka pintu, dia buka dah tak ketuk. Dia terus buka pintu dengan the, um, I think is the potential buyer. Oh my. Survey the house. 
Orang tengah tidur bertelanjang bulat. Oh, How? Uh, ah. No respect lah. Dia crazy. Eh, so, <laughs> ini adalah surprise. Dia buka surprise. pintu. Surprise. I'm here. Surprise. Ah. Okay, kau kena keluar 3 bulan. Ah. Okay, bye. That's why I hate the most. Eh, <laughs> hey, surprise. Eh, hey, I'm surprise. Eh, surprise. Ah. Ini bagi tak lah dulu. Ah. Actually, I want to uh, tambah on that. Actually, yes. sebagai penyewa, hmm. ramai yang tak tahu hak-hak penyewa tau. In the tenancy ah. agreement number one, you have to have tenancy agreement. Yes. Wajib ada. And then tenancy agreement tu, make sure dekat dalam tu ada tulis benda-benda macam ni. Hmm. Uh, macam, okay, kalau nak datang, give at least 24 hours notice. Hmm. Kalau nak uh, jual rumah, bagi tahu 3 months notice. Hmm. And vice versa. Kalau you nak pindah keluar, you pun ada notice kan. So, a lot of people saya rasa tak menyewa dengan adanya tenancy agreement. Yes. Main masuk je. And there's also why a lot of people uh, akan kena scam. Yes. Hmm. Tapi as a tenant, apa yang you boleh buat kalau dia orang langgar? Ah, ya. Yeah. Sebab hmm. dia akan kata, what you going to do? Sue me. Ah. Ah. You mana ada duit, you can sell aja. Ah. Hmm. Ah. Reality. Betul. Reality. That's Check true. Right That's true. Tapi kot lah orang nak buat pro bono. Oh. Hmm. So, kena kena jugalah macam cari. legal next, action. Next musim kita kena cari lawyer penguam. Betul. Ha, macam mana kalau aku kena scam oleh Betul. lawyer? Sebab I. banyak, um, I think this is one thing yang kerajaan kena ambil peka. Uh, not just that, but also racism in oh, renting. Yes, 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 Memanglah yes. kita senang, kita senang. Kita hmm. bumi putera Melayu. Hmm. Tapi for Indians, hmm. for some Chinese, very difficult to cari rumah sewa. Hmm. So that is also, I think, surprise. No, I think the uh, hardest is for Indians. Let's, sangat, let's make it very sangat, real here lah. Sangat. Um, orang India memang susah sebab ada uh, opinion pasal, uh, oh, uh, you know, dia kotor Negative ke apa. Negative perception. Tapi... You ingat, you know, being pengotor is everyone. Yeah. It's so, not just for like a particular race. It's, it's ridiculous. Ah, penghutang pun anyone can do. Kau Betul. ingat, you know, uh, what? only one particular race will owe you money, mm. please. Correct. Mm. It's about personal attitude. Mm. Mm. Macam like, um, they say so like non-smoker, smoker, non-smoker, like, and then... Itu but, hotel ke apa? No, like uh, for tenancy, like oh, macam okay, okay, okay. some people, they look for non-smokers mm. in specific right. and stuff like that. Tapi if they're non-smoker, tapi Indian tak boleh pula. Oh. Oh. So it's like, macam, Pilih, kan? what is the what is the issue actually? Betul. Racism so, lah. What is the issue? That's why. Right, yeah. 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 Just why can't you just say that? Yeah, just but, say your racism. Betul. Yeah, but, but that that's a whole different conversation lah. <laughs> Correct. Now. Yeah, but just now we want to uh, circle back to the surprise cause. So aside from the fact that sometimes landlord akan surprise you Betul. masuk cakap nak jual rumah tu. Ada apa costing ke yang dia kena fikir ke tak? Uh, so macam saya cakap tadi, the tenancy agreement has to be stamped. Hmm. So stamping usually uh, dibayar oleh penyewa hmm. uh, ikut harga rental. Okay. So it can be a few hundred, hmm. can be a few thousand. Security fees pun? Security fees is hmm. two plus one plus half. Hmm. So uh-huh. tiga bulan setengah, hmm. okay. you have to pay up front. Hmm. Um, and then apa lagi? Um, it's not much. It's not as much as bila kita membeli, tapi uh, <laughs> still money. Still, hey, still money. money. Still money. Hey, money. Ada. Better you don't get a house or shelter lah. If it's still money, you kau kau you cheaper lah. Go cheaper bro. Go <laughs> <You> cheap. <laughs> Actually, I have a question. Lah. I have a question. Cause my grandparents are Chinese. Okay. So kalau orang beli rumah macam like this. This, I, this why I heard maybe mungkin I I dilulu tengah mimpi ke something Most like they they bought a house lah but they want to buy a house under Bumi Putra which is me you know? yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. so yeah. do you do they get like uh, discount counter price got, got right got. so yeah. that's like ten percent mm. or something like that but can they sell the house under anyone or kena bumi putra juga so if you buy so there's two hmm. uh, kita kelas hartanah hmm. ada bumi kota ada bumi lot hmm. okay. if you buy under bumi kota usually with developer they just have a certain quota that oh. they have to sell off to mm-hmm. okay. sometimes tak semestinya um, have to sell juga to bumi hmm. but if you buy a bumi lot specifically memang kena jual kepada bumi putra sahaja hmm. and if you want to sell kepada non bumi uh, you can make sure you dah you ada bukti you dah cuba menjual selama setahun ke dua tahun hmm. um, you kena uh, tapi, tak go, ah, tapi tak ada orang nak ah tapi tak ada orang nak ini akan diusulkan uh, dalam i think diusulkan dalam parlimen tau oh. uh, because it's a very uh, uh, heavy issue hmm. um, and most probably the first time you usulkan it will not be approved so it will take a long time sebenarnya untuk jual 
non uh, bumi lot kepada non bumi hmm. you have to prove hmm. memang tak ada bumi putera yang nak beli sangat rumah you ni hmm. Hmm. but it's a very so, valid question tak jumpa bumi tak ada, mana mana ha. so are you asking for friend yourself <laughs> for myself actually. for yourself yeah. kan cakap tak ada rumah uh, bukan I, dia punya bukan bukan my house oh. I, i was curious lah bila dengar macam Oh, you get cheaper kalau you put under my name. Tapi janganlah, you know. I don't want. Actually, you hear cheaper sebab, you know, they tell you 10% discount. Mm. Tapi, like what she said lah, all those surprise costs mm. yang dia mm. list tadi, is there anything yang macam you, you lepas you dengar tu, you rasa macam takut ke tak? Uh, dia takut sebab yang berapa banyak tu, saya pun tak ingat dah. So, macam tu yang takut lah. Okay. I, I think I wouldn't be scared sebab kalau you nak beli rumah, you kena dah ada duit lah. So, like duit macam, dan duit extra, bukan yeah, just the property tau. Yeah, yeah that's ah. why kalau you have to be financially stable lah to buy mm. a house. Mm. Kalau you want to buy a house. So, rent. <laughs> okay, dia ni memang team rent lah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Tapi kan, saya nak tanya you. So, orang kata you know, ni lagi praktikal sebab you dapat save duit. So, you... Uh, very, oh, sorry. Okay. <laughs> tak, tak apa, tak apa. You boleh beri thumbs up. Okay, okay, okay. So, orang kata, okay, uh, you boleh jimat lah apa kan. Tapi berapa banyak penyewa boleh jimat compared to pembeli rumah. So, you dah tinggal rent for how many years of your life? Uh, sekarang nak masuk tujuh tahun lah. Okay. So, do you think you save a lot compared to beli your family lah, your family? Yeah. Save a lot sebab every year ada macam damages to the house and I don't pay. Okay. Oh, faham. Oh. That's one of the perks yeah. sebenarnya. Yeah. Uh. Dia baiki rumah kan. Hmm. Tapi kadang-kadang ada yang the owner yang tak suka baiki rumah. So, that is the truth. Yeah. Ada juga. Aku cari owner macam begitu. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> ah, ini dia dah extend the contract lah tenancy yeah. dengan <laughs> nah, landlord dia. Faham? <laughs> Sudah faham? extend. That's why you so, rent and then kalau you dapat landlord yang macam Yeah, ah, uh, you boleh cawa. Cawa lah. Itu juga <laughs> flexibility. Wah, kau you tunggu Same. stay there 10 tahun, and then complain my landlord lagi. It's because of you lah, not because your landlord. You ingat nak pindah rumah tu senang ke? Hello, senang. moving cost siapa yang bayar? Oh, kena cari uh, lori <laughs> lagi, <laughs> apa lagi? Ah, uh, don't get me started on lori movers. Ah, uh, uh, sekarang dia dah keep the stress. You see, senang dia cakap. You ingat pack your bag and leave ah? Hello, furniture. Banyak banyak barang you. No. Why you banyak banyak barang? Why you banyak banyak barang? Pindah dengan sofa je ke? Ha, you tinggal dengan sofa je. Bagi je dia. People move into a house that treat like a family house. Dia ingat dia macam pack the bag with sofa apa boleh cao. Dia dia imagine rumah dia tak ada kerusi, tak ada meja. Kalau macam dia gamer macam mana? Tak ada isteri. Tak ada. Ha. Tak ada isteri, tak ada. Dia pindah dengan kotak je tau. Ah, ha. Masa tu, my my last time bila I pindah rumah, mm. I only had four boxes. Wow. Wow. That's actually quite admirable lah. Okay, then your family? And quite sad to be honest, yeah. but that's mm. okay. Quite sad lah. <laughs> Tapi my family banyak barang lah. <laughs> so, last last. So, terus cerita so, dia. So, cerita dia. Tak menanggung kos lah. So, cerita dia. Lah. Cerita dia. Be like me. Ah, four boxes. You uh, family yang bayar. Family, family yang bayar. bayar. Ah, itulah privilege kalau family yang bayar. <laughs> ah, But if you alone, how? <laughs> macam you kan gamer juga. Your computer. Exactly, sure. computer, bro. Computer, gaming chair, semua. Macam mana you nak macam, okay, I want to move. Uh, last, 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 last. Mover truck kena buat tiga trip, kena bayar tiga kali, bro. I buat berapa <laughs> banyak trip? Lima trip untuk you. Surprise! <laughs> yeah, surprise! Tiga kali, ya. Surprise! surprise. Uh, uh. Okay, so tadi we talk about renting sebab uh, kalau rumah ada problem, landlord akan bayar. Hmm. Tapi itu subject to landlord yang bagus. Hmm. Ada landlord yang kata, I didn't stay there. So, you yang tinggal kat sana, you lah tanggung sikit. Hmm. You know? Uh, macam, I pernah kenal lah Uh, water filter, lima tahun kena tukar satu kali. So, I asked the landlord, would you want to like split? I offer to split. Dia kata, wow. tak nak because I don't use. Wow. <laughs> you are the Wait. one that stay there. You are, you, are, you yang use the thing. So, you pay lah for the thing. I was like, okay. Oh, like that, oh. Okay. Interesting. Interesting hmm. mentality. Interesting because benda-benda tu sangat subjektif. Yeah. Macam, hmm. are you going to fix the fan? I tak duduk situ. You I fix tak duduk lah. situ. You yang... You, uh, so, you ada problem, you fix lah. Hmm. Uh. Adalah. Ada. Hmm. Ada. 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 Confirm ada. Tak ha. semua. So, speaking of landlord, sometimes kan, kita tinggal kat uh, sewa rumah pun, ada landlord yang not so good lah. Hmm. Not mine. Mine is very good. Ah, so, I, Mine also very good. Ah, jangan evict. Ah, jangan evict. Jangan buang. Ah. Ah. <laughs> so, tapi kalau 
kalau you kena uh, landlord yang tak berapa bagus, contohnya lah, uh, kipas rosak, dia, tak, dia kata, I tak nak pay because I tak guna, you yang guna mah. Kan? Uh, security fee pun, I tak tinggal kat sana. Uh, you yang nak security, you bayarlah. So, what is the heart of the penyewa? Eh? Macam mana? Okay, uh, kita sentuh security dulu. Hmm. Uh, dia sama macam if you menyewa dekat kondo. Hmm. Fees, management fees, maintenance fees semua, memang owner kena bayar. Hmm. Oh, uh, even apartment? Apartment lah. Oh. Yalah, memang. Uh, strata yeah. title kan, maintenance fees sepatutnya owner yang bayar. Hmm. Unless you baik hati and you mention in the tenancy agreement, saya boleh bayar sebab saya oh. nak pakai swimming pool ke apa. Okay, whatever. Hmm. Kalau um, any kerosakan yang is not caused by the penyewa, hmm. uh, then owner yang kena bayar. Hmm. The only time yang you kena bayar adalah sekiranya anda sendiri yang melakukan kerosakan tu. Hmm. Or that's the wear and tear. Hmm. Contoh, you masuk, owner dah service your icon. Hmm. So, keluar nanti, you service lah. Hmm. Ah. Okay. Um, kalau kipas rosak kipas how I don't know how lah you boleh how pakai you? sampai rosak yeah, kan nah. so owner lah yang kena betulkan Actually, tapi kipas mm. si mahal rosak ah. but that's beside the story same, same. Ah. Kipas ah. Rosak. kucing ni contoh <laughs> tapi kalau contoh your, you ada kucing hmm. kucing you cakap owner punya furniture oh. kucing bayar kucing, kucing bayar. bayar betul bayar. aku jual kucing, kucing tu ah. 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 tak pun ada I pernah kena lah my tenant um, dia uh, ada banyak kucing hmm. and uh, bila I tengok dalam gambar oh I I agent tapi I tak pergi tengok my own house eh. Hmm, hmm. I tengok dalam gambar oh cantik je rumah ni. Tapi when my new tenant masuk rupanya kursi sofa I penuh dengan kutu kucing. Oh. And I had to do deep cleaning semua. So that should have been on behalf of penyewa hmm. sebelum tu lah. Hmm. Uh, so benda-benda macam tu. Uh, tapi difficult sebab dia sangat grey area. Hmm. Yeah. It's a he, he said she said kind of thing. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Hmm. yeah. Dia akan kata, itu kutu pun from outside, not my cat. Ah, betul. Ah, macam mana? Hmm. Ah, actually, yang paling takut tu speaking of uh, pets lah. Yang bukan kutu je tau. Sometimes the cat kencing kat the sofa. Bow dia or you. Ya, betul. Itu teruk lah. So, what is this istilah? Nisbah harga kepada sewa. Price to rent ratio. Have you heard of this term? Yes. Okay. Can you terangkan kepada our viewers? Okay. Price to rent basically uh, actually sambungan daripada jawapan tadi. Mm. So, kalau you nak menyewa, contoh you nak menyewa dekat Taman Tun. Mm. Okay, you nak menyewa hari ni, mungkin you akan sewa pada harga RM2,500 atau RM3,000 for the terraces. Mm. Okay? RM3,000. Ya? Yeah. Itu mm. oh, murah tau, itu murah. Ha? RM3,000 murah? Mm. Ban- bandar utama so like this tau. No? Yeah. Tu harga dia. Oh, sebab m- mungkin I, I from negara lain ada naik alam. Yeah. Kita, kita <laughs> memang area area situ ah. memang seribu setengah. Ah yes, tahun ni five two story yo. Yeah. Wow. Ah. Lain lain lain. Ah. <laughs> so, so sini dia jadi tiga ribu. Ah. Tapi hmm. kalau you nak beli rumah ni harga dia uh, tak kurang daripada satu point lima satu point tujuh, which hmm. uh, which translates to uh, mortgage you dalam Eh, satu juta uh, is 5,000, 5,000 yeah. 5 to 6,000 macam tu. Hmm. So, kalau you nak beli sebenarnya, you are paying double. Hmm. So, better you menyewa. Oh my hmm. God. Ah, if that is what you're looking for. Okay, okay. <laughs> dia dia memang for. proud. She is very bangga because she's renting. Hmm. Tapi sekarang ni, you rent kan, you pay on your own or your family still paying? Uh, I contribute lah. Contr- uh, contribution lah. Contribution lah. RM5 sebulan. I mean, it's still a contribution. <laughs> kan? Contribution. Uh, so, okay. So, we already know kalau kat TTDI, mm. sewa tu RM3,000. Mm-hmm. Kalau you beli, you have to pay RM5,000. Mm. Kan? Berapa yang you sanggup bayar just to sewa a house? For me, kalau I sewa myself, mm. I would... Okay, rumah tu very select. Okay, m- macam ni lah. Macam rumah ni yang yang mewah-mewah tu. Mewah-mewah. Ah, tapi tak ada hantu lah, tak ada hantu. Uh, ada ah. swimming pool. Ah, ada ni, 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 ni. ni. So, okay. macam kalau lah you nak sewa rumah yang selesa. Mm. You like lah the place. TTDI kan okay kan? Okay. Mm. Ah, okay lah. Okay, mm. I love TTDI. Will you pay RM3,000? No. Mahal. Punya <laughs> answer pun tak ada suspense tau. You bagi lah suspense sikit. Macam oh, okay, I would oh, think, you know. Yeah, dekat drama. dengan Wang Utama, dekat dengan uh, BFM semua. Oh, uh. Actually kan? No. 
I ada tahu nak answer. Ha. Tak yalah, tak yalah, no, no, no. The moment is over. Oh, it's over, it's over, it's over. Okay, now me, now me. Okay, okay, okay. MRT One. pun dekat lah dengan... Oh. Ah, hmm. MRT dekat? Seorang lah. Ah. Tiga seorang. Ah, Memang so doesn't yeah. make sense lah. Tiga ribu. Doesn't make sense? Doesn't make sense. Tapi dekat warung taman tau. Warung taman banyak boleh makan. You know, boleh mind skate. Okay, ah. kalau I rent for one thousand, I boleh makan lagi banyak. Boleh pergi melancong. One thousand? <laughs> Then you live in a one bedroom square. That's why dia boleh pindah rumah <laughs> tak payah tiga kali kan macam you. Kan dia ada empat kotak. Ah, empat kotak ah. je. Betul lah, betul lah. You That's think what? Tak banyak barang. Dia tak banyak barang. Tak ada banyak. Right. Ah. Saya lonely lah guys. <laughs> dia single. Dia right, single. Right. Dia cinta <laughs> mak dia. Okay. I love the mother. Ah, dah faham. This is the third time. Ah. Kita uh, dah buat count. Time, ah. Ah, BFM tolong bing, buat ah, counter single counter kan. Ah. Dia, ah. Buka air. Single. single. Ah, okay. So what about you? What is your comfortable harga yang you akan bayar for a rent? I like for for sorang-sorang, I rasa hmm. something under 2,000 lah kot. Sorang-sorang. Sorang-sorang. Yeah, under I think 2000. anything over than that, macam either I, either kaya atau you macam, bodoh atau bodoh kaya atau Boy. bodoh you atau dua-dua are financially irresponsible yes slay queen <laughs> anak bagi tahu eh kalau you terpaksa sewa rumah kat TTDI dan you kena bayar 3000 you bukan bodoh bukan bukan you tak slay queen ke apa cuma ya yeah, dia tak mampu sekarang. That's why dia macam. Masalahnya dia yang tak mampu. Masalah dia yang tak mampu. Tak mampu. Dia lulu. Ah, dia lulu. Dia lulu become trelulu. Ayo. Tapi kalau dengan, dengan family semua, up to maybe 3,000 macam tu. Okay, okay lah. Sebab you contribute kan? Ya. Yeah, uh, yeah. Everybody pay lah. Atau nenek you, atau you sekali pay lah. Kan? Betul. Share, share. Share, share. Tapi dia cantik lah. Cantik. Cantik, cantik. Tengah moving. Kalau bandar utama, bandar utama best. Hmm. Ha, kalau tak, kau korang kena pindah ke negara air. Kat mana? Dengan alam. Dengan alam. Uh, dengan alam, alam tak suka sangat. Dengan alam, tak suka sangat. PJ Pips memang macam ni. Dengan alam. Dengan alam. You need passport to get there. Dengan alam kat mana? Setia alam jauhnya. Dia setia alam jauhnya. Tak berjalan perjalanan. Tapi, one road je. NKV dah boleh sampai. Betul. Tapi, seribu setengah je sewa. Seribu setengah. Tell me, I'll go there. I dah bagi tahu you negara I. Oh negara you. Ah. <laughs> Jauh. Jauh okay. lah. So this one is for uh, Natasha sebab dia perunding. Oh I love to use the word perunding. Hartana. Perunding hartanah. Ha, perunding hartanah. So, so fancy. Ha. Ah nampak tu dia ada day. Ada orang kata expenses korang untuk tempat tinggal, transportation dan makan-makan tak boleh exceed 50% of your gaji. So selepas tahun benda ni korang nak ke tak revise amount yang akan rela allocate untuk sewa. Kalau macam you What will you think about the allocation? Okay, allocation ni of course it's just a guideline. A guideline. Kalau gaji you 1008, 50%, hmm. you hmm. nak makan apa? Betul tak? Hmm. 1008, 2000 setengah. Hmm. Maggi pun nak mahal rumah sekarang. Maggi pun mahal. <laughs> so, <laughs> benda ni, Betul. you... Kalau I lah, I akan minimize cost dekat kereta. Hmm. Kereta, I rasa dekat Malaysia ni oh. memang you you kena ada kereta. I have been contemplating actually getting car. Uh, tapi kalau, okay. Alah, cerita lain pula. Pros and cons. Hmm. Kalau If you can grab anywhere, you don't need to go to work every day. Uh, it's okay lah. Hmm. Depends lah apa yang berbaloi ke tak. Tapi kalau you uh, nak beli kereta, jangan tiba-tiba terus keluar kereta H. Uh, kereta B. Kereta A. Beli yang kurang. <laughs> kalau boleh. Kalau boleh. Kurang daripada 10%. Hmm. Atau 15%. Hmm. For then, your car. For your car. Kalau boleh. Your first car lah. Ini bukan cerita you dah, you dah CEO Mega Holdings. Um, and then, bila you nak beli rumah, 50% tu kira dah termasuk with all your other um, commitment tau. Uh, so, dah kereta tadi. So, kita tolak ada lagi 40% untuk rumah. Kalau you boleh pakai that amount, silakan. Hmm. Tapi kalau you dah you dah kira balik, you tak cukup duit untuk savings, insurance, tak ada. Um, tak ada takaful. Tak ada takaful. Hmm. Hmm. Tak ada. Then, This, I think you kena uh, rombak balik lah you punya plan. Hmm. Uh, sebab, it is very difficult untuk I bagi, okay, you 50% je, you 50%, you 50%. Hmm. Hidup kita lain-lain, hmm. ada, yang betul, betul, ha, ada yang kena jaga mak ayah, ada yang kena jaga nenek atuk, anak. Ada yang tak ada jaga-jaga siapa, betul. siapa. Ya, you know. Saya jaga mak. Ah. Aduh. Sure. Okay. <laughs> Ke mak jaga you? Hmm. Dua-dua. <laughs> 
Aku speechless sometimes tau dengan dia. Uh, sometimes cikgu pun speechless semua. Okay, so kita nak back about uh, the conversation about investment. Macam tadi I lah, I kata saya pergi, pernah pergi publika, lepas tu orang kata, Oi tau ji mau, you, you nak invest ke tak? So I tanya, invest apa? Invest dalam property. Sebenarnya orang selalu guna you know the 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 term investment for property tapi i nak tahu kenapa i kena invest on the property kenapa bukan macam investment dekat takaful ke uh, other means okay hmm. um invest dalam property maknanya you takkan tinggal ke apa i think dua-dua boleh tau sebab boleh. contoh ha. I beli rumah tu, hmm. dia ada dua jenis investment. I beli rumah tu, I sewakan. Hmm. So that you get a rental, uh, return of investment dekat okay. situ based on rental. Hmm. Tapi dalam masa yang sama, I can also duduk rumah tu, tunggu 15 tahun, harga rumah tu naik, hmm. I dapat jual dan dapat untung, itu juga adalah sebuah investment. Hmm. Jadi, bila kita kata beli property, kita kata invest in property, um, macam mana pun kalau you beli yang betul lah, hmm. it will be an investment. Hmm. Hmm. Ah. Kalau beli yang betul Kalau beli yang salah Boleh jadi liability hmm. Sebab kalau ada beli Okay, saya nak tanya pasal macam ni hmm. So, se- when you buy a house You dapat loan dari bank kan hmm. Orang kata you sebenarnya Kalau you beli rumah You you bayar bank Bukan bayar hmm. the house yes. hmm. So, I dah uh, In 2 years, 15 years Sebab usually dia tie me for 35 tahun kan okay. Kalau before 35 tahun I nak jual tu I jual full price ke apa? Betul, hmm. belum, bay- belum habis bayar ah. tau. Oh. You bayar balik apa yang you dah bayar ke? Okay, ah. faham. Okay, macam ni. Okay, you beli rumah harga RM300,000. Hmm. Cakap lah, RM1 million je lah. RM1 million. I, 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 easy lah, easy lah. Cukup RM5 million. RM1 million. Lah. Million. 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 juta. Aku spend RM1 <laughs> juta kat property. Wow. Okay, RM1 ah. juta. Hmm. And then, you nak jual, katakan you dah bayar loan 10 tahun. Yes. Katakan... You dapat jual value pada masa tu 1.5. Example lah. Example. 1.5, ha. you dapat bayar. Bayar akan bayar 1.5 tu. Okay. 1.5 tu, all the balance will pay off your loan. Okay. All the uh, extra or the profit akan pergi dekat you. Oh. Tapi, oh, 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 of tapi. course lah, you kena surprise. bayar. Oh, surprise! 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 Ah, surprise you ah. kena bayar saya sebab saya jualkan rumah you. Oh, oh, ah, oh ya. Yeah, yeah. Agent, agent. You, ah. you bayar dekat uh, perunding. Okay, perunding. You bayar dekat lawyer. Okay. You bayar dekat any anything you need to fix ke untuk okay, cantikkan. Okay, okay, okay. Staging, hmm. benda-benda macam tu. So, ada profit di situ akan dapat balik dekat you. Hmm. Kalau ada. Hmm. So, orang baru tu yang nak bayar, ambil loan untuk bayar balik you punya loan. And then you loan, bayar balik loan, you atas loan, on, atas loan, uh, so, so, investment oh, like ke tak lah. sebenarnya? Kalau you dapat untang, it's investment lah. Oh. Tapi kalau you salah beli, katakan, okay, ha. you beli rumah 1 juta. Okay. You nak jual in 10 years, 900,000 je tadi. <gasps> okay, apa sebabnya harga dia boleh turun? Example. Kemungkinan you beli tanpa ambil tahu apa nilai semasa. So, ada orang tu dia kata, uh, dia markup price tu. Dia developer kata, markup price? Developer ke, owner okay. pun boleh. Oh, oh okay. Ah. Oh, so I can lah. Can, oh, tapi can, can nak... yang masuk ah. akal. Hmm. Yang, yang masuk akal. Yang masuk akal. Satu ha. juta. Satu juta lah, okay. okay. You okay. tak ada lah satu juta, value tu satu juta, you boleh jual dua juta, tak boleh lah. Ah. Oh, dia okay. boleh lari sikit-sikit-sikit. Satu poin sembilan. You jangan Tak ada, lah. tinggi sangat. Ah. Aku cakap okay. dua tak boleh. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Ha. So, Katakan you beli, ataupun even developer, mm. kalau ada yang um, markup harga future prices ke mm. apa ke kan. So, bila you nak jual in 5 years, lah itu harga 5 years ago is actually today punya harga. Mm. Ha, jadi, dah jadi liability kat situ. Mm. So, tak semua property adalah investment mm. dan that's why you nak membeli atau nak menyewa, you have to be an informed buyer. Okay. You kena mm. tahu. I think a lot of people will ask this. Macam mana you akan tahu tempat tu okay untuk invest? Okay untuk invest, ah. you um, get ready for buzzwords. You hmm. akan uh, tengok. Ada Hood tak? and Hope. MRT, ah. oh, MRT. Hospital. Oh, school. Ah. So basically, cara I uh, nasihat my Location clients. Lah kan? ah, mm-hmm. nas- cara nasihat client, if you would stay there, hmm. your client would stay there or not. Hmm. Okay. So contoh, um, you ada anak. Okay. okay, you mesti nak dekat dengan sekolah yang bagus. Hmm. Atau dekat dengan international school. 
right? Mm, sure. So, you belilah dekat-dekat area situ. Mm. Ah, patu you sewakan, that's your target market. Faham, yeah. faham. Ataupun, okay, I nak invest, I tahu kat sini nanti ada university coming up. Mm. So, I nak sewakan dekat student. Mm. So, mm. dia plan ikut macam tu lah. Wow. Dia, dia tak, of course, dia tak ada formula one size fits all. Tapi, okay. you target, you nak invest dekat siapa, mm. and then you cari ber, berpandukan Ah, siapa, oh. apa yang you nak invest tu. Okay, so, so based on word. apa yang dia explain tadi, I nak tanya you dalam Cantonese. Oi, tau ci mau? Yes. Mau. Mau. Yes. <laughs> I, I kena belajar invest. lah. I kena belajar. Ha, macam mana? Oi, tau ci mau. Oi, tau ci mau. Ah, mau. Do you want to invest? Maknanya. Oh. Ah. So, do you think you akan jadi seorang investor on property ke atau you akan do something else? Dia ikut mood. Oh, wow. You <laughs> janganlah buat like benda macam ni ikut mood. <laughs> Dia kena I, macam, I meet the right person, this person sell good idea. I invest. Macam relationship pula. Ya, dia kena. Aku nak beli Aku nak beli girlfriend. <laughs> Natasha, yeah. sekarang kita nak masuk segmen yang agak serius sikit. Baik. Oh. Seram sikit. Oh. Lelong House. Oh my God. Okay. So my opinion about Lelong House ni sebenarnya bukan sebab I tahu lah orang sometimes kena Lelong House sebab dia tak boleh bayar ke yeah, apa. I have a question before. Ah, you, yes, yes, what yes. is Lelong House? Ah, ah Boss. Okay. Hmm. Sedi. Sedi lagi. Okay. Daniel beli rumah. Hmm. Dia takkan beli rumah aja lah. Ah. Sedi beli um. rumah. <laughs> Lepas tu. <laughs> I nak beli rumah. Okay. You beli rumah. <laughs> Daniel beli rumah. <laughs> Lepas tu. After three months, you won't be happy. After three months, dia tak mampu bayar. Oh. <laughs> I tak nak beli. Dia tak financially, <laughs> tak financially stable. Oh, uh, tak responsible. Financially stable. Uh. So, after three, months, <laughs> after three months, dia tak boleh bayar. Bank uh, akan... There's a process. And then, bank akan terpaksa ambil rumah tu dan auction it. Self-achipkan. Mm. Yes. Mm. Lelongkan oh. supaya they can get back the amount that you borrowed from them. I see. Okay. 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 So, you know that my house, sebab uh, that time lah, a lot of people buy Duke before PKP, thinking it's a good place to invest lah, negara lain kan. Uh, negara dan membangunkan lain. negara lain yeah, kan. Ya, of course, of course. Uh, tiba-tiba PKP hantam, mataman, I think about 50% rumah kena lelong. Hmm. So, you boleh nampak tak lelong, lelong, lelong. Uh, ada hmm. banyak perunding hatana punya phone number semua Indeed. kat sana. Uh, so, Do you think it is a tempat yang boleh invest ke? Oi, Tau Ci mau punya tempat? Ataupun uh, dangerous? Apakah uh, pros and cons in terms of hut- rum- uh, rumah lelong? Okay. Rumah lelong pun you kena ada ilmu Oish. untuk oh. beli dan untuk jual. Oh, 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 okay. Okay. oh. Dia, dia, dia bab lain ke? Dia Slight macam different. dia lebih technical. Hmm. Very technical. The first thing you need to know is Rumah lelong, macam tadi kita kata uh, nak beli rumah, kita kena ada down payment kan? Yes. 10% kan? Mm. Yang tu, um, as a buyer, you boleh keluarkan dari EPF. Okay. Okay. Ah. So, you beli dulu, you sign the legal fees. Lepas tu, you pergi EPF, you keluarkan account dua, you mm. boleh bayar. Mm. Rumah lelong, up front 10%. You have to prepare on the day. Okay. Dia kata, saya nak beli rumah tu. Saya ada RM50,000 okay. in hand. Okay. Mm. Itu yang pertama. Mm. Yang kedua, rumah lelong ni ada yang... Macam you cakap tadi, rumah tu dia baru beli, okay. dah kena lelong, ah. maknanya hutang dia dengan bank banyak lagi. So, oh. dia nak lelong berapa berapa murah yang dia boleh lelong? Okay. Tak boleh murah. Oh. Sebab dia pun hutang dengan bank maybe RM900,000. Hmm. You... Tapi, saya tengok dia letak RM800,000. RM800,000. Ah. Tapi, kalau beli baru berapa? I don't know. Maybe around that or RM900,000. Ah, ah. So, beza dia tak banyak. Hmm. So, better hmm. I beli je sub-sale. So, rumah yang baru-baru ni, dia lelong sebab overhang, ramai yang uh, affected dengan MCO. Um, and that's why bila kita nak membeli tu, kita kena tengok harga dia betul-betul berbaloi ke tak kita nak beli. Hmm. Sebab nak beli auction, rumah biasa you nak you nak viewing macam you tadi kan, hmm. landlord you masuk tengok, you telanjang hmm. bulat. Hmm. Ayah ni you tak boleh tengok siapa-siapa, <laughs> telanjang bulat. Ah. So, you tak boleh masuk? Tak boleh. Uh. Dia baby kalau you you are lucky you dapat nombor rumah tu you boleh tengok dari luar je. Okey, kenapa you tak boleh masuk? Ha, ah. sebab dia auction. Ah, oh. benda free ni you 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 can Ada get. hood and hop semualah. May or may not. May not. Lah. May no. have extra things. <gasps> chen chen chen. Aduh. Ah. Net balance and seram pun. <laughs> ya, ha. macam mana kalau you jumpa hantu ke benda-benda lain? Tapi kalau... jumpa hantu tu, you tak, okay, boleh, yeah. tak boleh buktikan okay, lah. Okay, 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 what if, what if? Okay, Maybe I, not hantu lah. Um, what if ada case? 
macam orang kena ke apa. Ah. In auction punya situation? Yes. Uh, kan ada, ada case kan? Adalah cerita ni. Ha, ceritakan sikit. I ha, masih ha. tak tahulah benda ni betul ke tak. Ha, ha, ha. Hmm, tapi Fakta macam atau, atau mitos. Betul. Ha. Tapi menarik lah kalau dia betul. Hmm. So, menarik. Oh, okay. menarik. I rasa menarik. Okay. So, this person, ha. dia berjaya membeli rumah lelong. Okay. Macam seronok, murah. Hmm. Lepas tu dia masuk, dia tengok dalam freezer. Ada badan orang. No. Cincang, cincang. Yes. No, yes, yes. Chasiu Pao. You tanya mm. mana-mana, agent ke apa ke kan? Memang diorang tahu cerita ni. Yes. Okay. Tapi sebaik, no. sebanyak mana kebenaran cerita ni kita tak tahu. Tapi okay. it's possible lah. Tapi okay. at least got free fridge, right? Ah ha, Betul. <laughs> Ada freezer. I mean, freezer. on the, I mean, on the positive way. side. Correct. Uh, yeah. Kalau you buka magic. still fresh, maknanya fridge still working. Working. Ha, ha, so good. Good. Oh, correct. Ha. Hmm. Macam tu lah. So hmm. kalau macam tu ada hmm. case kan, ah property macam mana? Yeah. Okay, so macam you cakap, kita tak boleh buktikan rumah tu berhantu. Hmm. Kita tak boleh buktikan there was a murder. Unless kalau masuk ada cin- lah. eh, ada mayat cincang kat dalam, tak boleh buktikan lagi ke? Janganlah report. Ah. Ah, tak oh. So, but basically... <laughs> kalau <laughs> report. Janganlah report. <laughs> report. Oh, report. report. <laughs> so, oh. contoh macam, okay. kita cakap pasal rumah hantu lah. Okay. okay? Hmm. Rumah hantu, Bukannya you tak boleh jual sebab dia ada hantu. Hmm. You tak boleh jual sebab orang duk sibuk rumah tu ada hantu, rumah tu ada ah, hantu, yeah, rumah yeah, tu ada yeah, hantu. Yeah, yeah. So demand tu turun. Uh, In principle of economic, demand uh, tu turun, harga you pun kena turun. turun. Yep, yep, Macam yep. tu je. Dia sebab je. demand je lah kan. Mm-mm. Kalau like rumah jenayah. <laughs> rumah jenayah. So contoh, <laughs> macam tadi kita borak pasal rumah Mona Fendi. Oh, ah, yeah. oh. Ataupun rumah yang dekat uh, Jalan Gasing tu. Which hmm. I'm very surprised just got sold hmm. uh, oh. for very expensive. Wow. Uh, Um, macam mana ada kes like uh, ada there was an affair lepas tu bini dia datang lepas tu dia bunuh oh. perempuan simpanan oh. lepas tu oh, yeah. like This everything happened kan? I, PJ PJ, PJ yeah. Yeah. Wow. drama uh, drama uh. looks can be deceiving nah, looks can be so okay. uh. rumah tu susah nak jual because of the stories mm. Mm. I tapi tak rasa tapi jual juga jual juga but I've seen banyak rumah abandoned semua itu dah tahun-tahun tak ada orang What about those houses? So, sama ada susah nak jual ataupun tak boleh nak locate owner. So, dia orang just oh. biar je? Biar je lah. Tak boleh locate owner. Hmm. You cannot buy over. So, you tak tahu owner tu siapa, owner Yelah, tu dah meninggal, tak tahu. Oh, owner legal fees. There are a lot of nuances yang mana maybe uh, owner tu... Surprise fee, dia tak boleh charge you. Oh. Surprise. Uh. Sometimes owner dia maybe empat orang, dua hilang, dua uh. hidup lagi. Tahu owner tu is the hantu? Um. Wow, you know Ouija board. Would you, Hello, can, can I, I buy, buy this house? house? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Berapa you nak jual dekat I, ha? <laughs> Kau pun layan buat apa? <laughs> <laughs> ini bakal klien I ni. Dia bagi idea. Dia bagi ideas. I want to invest. <laughs> You nak invest ah? Ha? Uh, Tiba-tiba tadi you cakap tak nak, now you want ah? Ha? Tak nak, tak nak. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Eh, seronok juga lah. The story-story like this. Eh? Hmm. Ha. So, buy lelong ke tak? Hmm. I would buy. But you can buy. Oh, yes. Dia belum apa-apa lagi. Ha. I nak cari rumah lelong sekejap. Nak jual kat you. Ha. <laughs> give, give a five minutes. Tunggu sekejap. Yeah. Um, I would if I... Uh, I kena tambah ilmu lagi. Sebab hmm. I takut tersalah langkah. Hmm. Because, okay. Tambah lagi. Tak, bukannya macam you masuk, you jumpa mayat ke apa. But hmm. if you buy... Beli sesuatu hartanah tu lelong. And maintenance fee dia tertunggak sampai RM50,000, oh. RM60,000. Lalas you! Surprise! RM50,000! Oh That's kind of evil. Eh. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, my so, God. So, benda tu jadi tak untung pun you beli auction. Faham, oh faham. Tu betul-betul surprise. Really try and surprise. error lah, you know. Try and error. Oh, try and error. RM50,000 yang try and error lah. Try and error. Try and error. Kau punya try and error. RM50,000. Tidak sekemampuan. Yeah. This guy. Sorry, I got to Dan. Oh, I got to Dan. Dia got to Dan yang masih single. Sekarang dia jadi got to. Okay. Gila lah episode ni. Aku penat lah. You pun layan tadi. Okay, tak 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 semua serius. Okay serius. Okay, ini adalah untuk insom niat. Yes yes yes. Eh kenapa nama you macam tu ah? Insom niat. Saya tak letih doh. Wah gila, wah gila. Serius, you know. Wah you punya answer memang selama gila lah. Kita dah gak kurang dengan you je. Oh my god. So kita pun nak buat survey pasal soalan ni dengan staff BFM. 
ada dalam ini ada top 3 sebab dia orang suka sewa rumah. So mm-hmm. you bagi tahu you setuju ke tak? Okey. Mm. Okey. Okey, point 1. Rumah dia fully furnished tak ya beli apa-apa furniture extra you pun boleh contribute lah. Okay. Ha. Ah uh, point number 2. Maintenance cost landlord yang kena settle. Roof leak, aircon rosak kalau landlord yang baiklah. Okey. Mm. Kalau ah uh, for uh, point number 3. Flexible, boleh pindah mana-mana bila tukar kerja atau tak suka area. Mm. Jadi anak tanya daripada list tadi, poin mana yang korang akan utamakan? Datuk Dan. Datuk Dan akan utamakan poin ketiga. Hmm, flexible. Bagus, flexible. So single boleh lari mana-mana. Ma- ah, yes. Hutang orang ke apa? Bukanlah single. <laughs> So, so, so kalau di area ada kena mengenai dengan single dan moving flexible. Ada. Kalau di area satu tahun tak ada girlfriend lagi, we move lah. Kembali cari girlfriend. Cari lah. Lain. You lain. lose kan jerinya sendiri. Ambil grab lah cari girlfriend. Tidak ada apa apa. Hey, tak boleh. The feng shui is not bad. Ah, you have to, you have to think, you know. Datuk Iskandar, Datuk Iskandar. Sekarang ni saya belum datuk lagi. Maaf ya, saya assistant saja kepada datuk sini. Okay, okay. Soon, soon. Saya juga utamakan nombor tiga. Uh, flexible, pindah rumah. <laughs> Bukan sebab nak cari girlfriend. Oh, okay. Safe uh, answer. <laughs> ah. Dia nak bagi you chan. Ya, yeah, ah. ah. Takkan nak ambil semua. Report kat girlfriend nanti. <laughs> what about you? Kalau you say what, I know you have a house. Mm, mm, mm. Ah. I think itu adalah value yang paling uh, I nampak berbaloi dalam mm. menyewa. Yes. You boleh pindah whenever you want. Yeah. Kan? Mm. Ah. Kalau you kena neighbor yang tu hmm. uh, neighbor yang buruk ya yeah. ha, ha, lagi lagi chow neighbor racun kucing you oh my uh. god yeah. so dead yeah you kena you ah your family ah i don't want to talk about it oh sedih oh. bro kalau you datang i punya podcast you tak nak kembali i akan sorry i'm on a, i'm on a podcast uh. right now <laughs> no lah but um got lah ada lah of course i got lah kan i have i have friends also who pernah kena and stuff like betul. that dia punya like dogs and stuff pun kena racun lah betul just just like that je Oh my god, kesian lah. Neighbors do that man. Yeah. Some neighbors. But for me, I respect orang yang cakap, I bukan, I bukan respect lah. I memang faham. I understand why orang akan pilih flexibility. Mm. Sebab I pun kena jiran yang macam crazy-crazy pun ada mm. and all. So it's like, bye. Yeah, yeah. And then I, deal, I don't want to deal with your negativity. Yeah, Actually, yeah. can I... Actually, can I... Feng shui. Ah, can I... Feng shui. I just want to add on. Ah. Um, Cerita lah, kita borak-borak. Uh, I ada clients yang datang balik dekat I okay. within 3-4 years mm. and kata they want to get a divorce. Oh. Nak bercerai. Oh. So, nak nak melalui penceraian tapi nak jual rumah juga. Mm. So, benda ni jadi extra burden tau mm. to these people. Mm. So, kalau just nak pindah, tak apa. To my parents. Ha, faham. Mm. Same. It becomes difficult <laughs> lah, kan? Yeah. Actually, same juga. So, do you think kalau beli property, could join name ke? Satu name dah cukup? Hmm, I personally I... tak join. Oh, ah, same. Ah. Sebab kita bukan fikir, oh nanti kita nak bercerai. Ah, tak, kita tak ada oh. macam tu. Ah, ah, ah. Kalau lelaki aku mati? Hmm. Ah, janda kan jadi janda. Jadi janda. Ah, janda. Ah. Ah. Faham, faham. Faham? Wait, kalau lelaki you mati, sorry ya. Ah. Touch wood. Eh, tapi, <laughs> and then the name of the house is under him. Mm. What happens? Ini topik yang sesuai untuk AIA. Nah. So, kalau you ada MRTT, lain. Kalau you ada MLTT, lain. Ini adalah topik yang sangat lain. Tapi, mm. um, <laughs> kalau atas nama suami mm. and dia tak menyediakan hibah untuk you or MLTT, mm. you kena bayar bulan-bulan sampai you dapat balik the insurance money. And, anda mm, syari- uh, Muslim punya law kan, kalau dia tak hibah dekat you, Farah tak pergi dekat isteri, Pergi dekat waris, iaitu ibu ataupun apa, hmm. lepas ibu lah, siapa lah. Tapi basically, you macam not priority lah. Hmm. Uh, so, ini adalah wow. topik yang untuk masa depan. Kesian. Yes, kesian. kesian. Sedih. Lebih baik kita sewa. Baik kita sewa. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Bagus lah dia ni. Kan dia berbalik kepada, kepada ah, prinsipal. Dia balik, balik dengan prinsipal dia nak sewa uh, tapi uh, boleh mempengaruhi dia lagi. Dengarkanlah, ya. Hibah. So, tadi kita sebut pasal flexibility. And uh, that's why some people rent a house sebab dia suka flexibility. Macam dia nak move house, kalau tak ada jodoh, flexibility. Tempat lain mungkin ada. Macam for you, neighbor. Ah, uh, For you, what are the factors? You akan, flexibility juga kan? You, you pilih. Juga. But for me, I ada dengar cerita lah. Orang kata dia nak, uh, ada orang dia beli rumah kat nilai. Oh, oh. cheaper lah. Lagi, nilai yeah. lagi cheaper lah. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Nilai dia cheaper. Uh, 
Tapi job kat Sungai Buloh. Hmm. So, kau bayangkan je lah setiap hari you kena pergi balik. Yes, it's your dream house at the time. Tapi you... Impossible. Kena uh, travel. Kena travel. Petrol, mental health semua. Uh, so, last-last, dia... Uh, dia apa tu? On the uh, on the other hand, adik dia tengah sewa kondo kat KL. Dia ni bila tempat lain bagi job offer, senang je dah ambil. Sebab dia ada flexibility untuk pindah. Hmm. Jadi, here is a very good... Uh, apa tu reminder lah. Kalau you nak beli rumah, location is one, right? It's very very important. Ah uh, bukan je the hood and hop and and semua surprise cost ke apa. Mm-hmm. Lokasi tu paling penting. Betul. Mm. Mm-hmm. For me, I moved my house about last time. I tinggal kat I sewa kat ah uh, Kota Damansara. My job at the time was near the Damansara area. Mm-hmm. Tapi ah uh, After that, I got another job at Jalan Sultan Ismail. Kau bayangkanlah. Mm. Okay. Kau tak ada masalah ke Jalan Sultan Ismail. Every day. Dua jam, tiga jam macam tu. Yeah. Oh my my. Mm. Ah, but because I run, I boleh je pindah dekat-dekat dengan KL ke yeah. apa. Suka hati mm. I lah. Ah. So, uh, for you, flexi- factor flexibility dan lokasi ni berapa penting bila you nak beli atau sewa rumah? For you. I know, lokasi maybe penting sebab kalau ikutlah jodoh you kan. Okay, I guess. Ah, kalau hmm. jodoh you tak dapat, you akan. Hmm. Tapi kalau I suka tempat sana, then I stay lah. Then, okay. Yeah, but yeah. Kita orang I mean, senang sikit sebab kita orang punya work flexible. Hmm. Ah. Like, kita, we are, cause kita musician kan, so macam any anything pun kat rumah pun boleh buat. And then kalau nak pergi show yang jauh-jauh, ada hmm. orang yang akan ambil. Yeah, hmm. and memang like kalau buat show memang kat semua tempat kan. So yeah. it's like no matter where you stay pun akan ada tempat yang jauh akan ada tempat yang dekat. Tapi kalau you beli you akan rasa macam sayang kan lah. Like, hmm. I'm I'm always out and about. Mm. Also know? yes. I I feel that way lah. Mm. Betul juga. You? Don't spend a lot of time at home. Mm. Mm. Um macam I cakap tadi contoh a lot of my clients mm. uh, I think um, learn the hard way macam tu lah. Beli sebab nak dream home. Mm. Uh, first home terus landed. Hmm. Landed kena lah beli jauh-jauh sebab landed yang dekat-dekat semua dah mahal hmm. kan. Yeah. So lepas dah travelling every day 2 hours 3 hours macam hmm. you mention tadi effects of mental health. Yeah. Oh, it's scary. Hmm. I think early in your life pun a lot of things change kan. Betul. Yes. So macam you never know what will happen you know, job you get tempat lain mana-mana. Betul. Yeah. Um, so usually uh, yang akan saya sarankan would be you try to offload Uh, either melalui menjual atau sewakan and then sewa lah dekat sikit for your mm. own mental health. Kalau mm. kata you betul-betul sayang yang rumah tu sentimental, memang that's your dream home then you sewakan dulu mm. nanti you dah you tak perlu bergerak sangat you boleh kick them out. Put them kick them out. Surprise! 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 Get, get out! Uh, uh. Tengok lah. Biar, uh. But that means they all learn a lot today. Betul. Ah. Yeah, they all learn a lot. Ah. A lot. So happy. He start from like sewa-sewa after the night, they'll kick people out. Ah. Yeah. 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 Hashtag every day list. Okay. So, ada orang yang kata, kalau rent masa satu, dua orang okay. Macam dia lah. Satu ah. orang je. Ah, empat kotak kan. Mm. Tapi <laughs> kalau nak fikir pasal family planning, anak-anak semua, lebih baik untuk anak if you buy a house. More stable. They say. Would you agree or not? Hmm. Belum jadi Datuk Iskandar. More stable. More stable. stable in what way? Ah, ah true. Dia Thinking, macam, eh? ah. Sebab like, uh, faham lah the permanence of having a, a, a property means hmm. like you boleh ada barang, you boleh beli barang yang you akan simpan untuk selama-lamanya pun okay. Betul. Sebab you ada tempat tu. Hmm. Kalau you rent banyak barang very short term. So, I guess betul lah stable untuk anak growing up. Dia orang macam environment penting juga kan. Hmm. Stable environment. So, tak banyak change. Make a lot of things stay the same. They can grow up familiar. Hmm. I guess career like that stable lah. Dalam experience saya sebagai Datuk Dan. Yeah. Yang, yang single. Single. Ah. Pindah banyak-banyak kali. Yes. Okay je hidup saya. <laughs> <laughs> Ada pindah banyak kali dalam hidup saya. Okay je. Debate Better have that. me. Okay. I think that's debatable lah. <laughs> debatable lah. Kesian you tau. Mungkin I, kalau I tinggal kat rumah yang permanent, I akan tinggi sikit. Tak tahu. Honestly. Uh, tapi sekarang okay je lah. Okay, okay. Don't worry. Sebab dia tak stable kan. So, tak cukup makan. <laughs> <laughs> tak cukup nutrien. Yes, vitamin. Hey, sebenarnya kalau ada rumah pun, pun it doesn't mean it's more stable lah. Okay. Hmm. To me kan. Kalau you punya financial tak stable, mental health tak stable, maknanya you tak stable lah langsung. Stable. Uh, uh, yes. I'm pretty sure you agree with me. 
Ya, betul. Ha. Tak kita berbalik kepada example tadi pun, ha. beli rumah kat nilai. Ha. You Nanti kerja kat Sungai Buloh. Kerja kat Sungai Buloh, hmm. you balik rumah tengok anak you nak tidur dah. So what kind of unstable? Oh. Unstable. Unstable, bro. So, you dah stuck dekat satu tempat. It's worse bila you dah ada anak sebenarnya. Hmm. Memanglah niat you, you want stability untuk anak you. Tapi, stability hanya pada geran. Tapi, hmm. stability yang mana you jumpa anak you seminggu, maybe 10 jam. Hmm. Oh. One thing juga, banyak pindah, anak you pun kena pindah sekolah. Betul. Oh, actually, when, that, when you but that's another away. conversation really yeah. tau. Ah, like my my sisters terpaksa buat macam tu they had to move to multiple different schools so susah untuk dia orang kena start balik buat kawan baru oh ah, actually so that's, that's another there's another thoughts also we never thought of good hmm. point lah yeah. aku saya some good points aku of course lah you ha datuk belajar lah sikit datuk belajar ah. oh da- datuk, datuk ni eh hey, yeah datuk, datuk ni banyak I... sekolah juga <laughs> ah. banyak kawan <laughs> Betul, uh, betul juga. <laughs> Banyak sekolah. <laughs> Why, Why you tak scared, tak scared make friend? They Why all, you scared, <laughs> scared? They all become your friend. They, kalau you tak boleh bayar, they bayar for you. Wow. Bro. Okay, wait. I don't know where you're going with that. Yeah, I don't know where you're going with that. <laughs> Korang jangan macam too serious about what he said tau. Ni sometimes <laughs> dia pun tingtong juga sikit. Sebab ni lah, biasanya Dan tak cakap. Biasanya oh, dia orang bagi air cakap je. Selalunya dia yang cakap lah. Yeah, tapi bila you kasih Dan satu mic lah, dia Ush, susah. The world dah, will dah, love dah susah, me. Dah susah. I think kan you tak you. sesuai jadi musician, you sesuai jadi stand-up comedian. Ah. I, I told everyone, tapi dia orang cakap dream on lah. You know? Well, the Lulu is the Solulu now, I guess. Yeah. That's true. Dream want... on and have your dream house. Oh, ah. dream house. Rental. Ah. Rental. Dream <laughs> rental house. <laughs> yes. At least dia consistent. Yeah, consistent. Yeah. I appreciate it. Imagine respect. kalau you macam, you starting out, you rent like this very small place and then suddenly you macam, I want to go big, you know? And then you rent a house, bigger you, house. You rent a bigger place, yeah. got jacuzzi, and then you macam, actually, I'm broke now. You go back down lah. <laughs> okay, but right? that is true. Uh. That is true. Cuba you bayangkan, Sedi, kalau masa PKP, uh. you lose your job, you can only afford maybe from 5,000. Hmm. Now, you you lost your job. You're a pilot. Hmm. Dulu gaji you banyak. Hmm. Sekarang gaji you sikit. Hmm. You boleh afford 1,000 je. Hmm. You boleh terus pergi ke rumah yang lebih kecil hmm. ah. berbanding dengan someone yang beli rumah mungkin dia dah kena lelong rumah dia rumah you pun dah kena blacklist nama you hmm. ah you pun di 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 isytiharkan bankrupt hmm. bigger muflis uh, muflis ah. a bigger impact bila jadi macam tu yeah, so that's actually a good point boosting his ego every moment hmm. <laughs> that's why dia macam ni kan i susah untuk move on to the next part so that move the next part is Katakan duit you dah cukup untuk beli rumah, repair dan maintain semua, you akan beli rumah ke tak atau takkan beli? I know you takkan beli. I upgrade my lifestyle. Rent bigger. He's not wrong. I'm not wrong. <laughs> Kenalah bagi opinion yang berbeza sikit. Are you going to follow see, him? I can see. No, I, I would buy. I would buy. You would buy lah. Yes, I would buy. Okay. Financially responsible. Just, uh, okay. Sorry. But I'm rich bro. Okay, betul lah. Betul lah. Betul lah. <laughs> For how long? That's the solution. For how long you reach? For how long korang dapat job lah? How long? Your singer keep getting gig lah. How long? Actually, that's also a problem lah. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm a bit scared about that. So, by the way, you cannot be like, You cannot be BB and you forever. You cannot uh, up already. You gonna be BB you already. Uh, BB you. Uh, uh, Budak-budak up. up. Uh, Betul. <laughs> you pun jangan gelak-gelak. You pun sama. <laughs> Tapi because I rasa this answer is not for you because you already have the 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 question is already for you like you know you already answered just now you already have house mm. okay so selain daripada duit apa lagi orang patut betul betul fikir sebelum nak beli rumah macam MRT ke uh, community ke mm. I okay I maybe I takkan bagi jawapan general tapi okay. I akan bagi something yang orang tak terfikir okay okay bila you nak beli rumah mm. fikirkan whether you dah kahwin ke belum kahwin ke fikir alamat yang you beli tu hmm. adakah sesuai untuk you daftar anak you sekolah nanti hmm. oh. tak ramai yang fikir benda ni so kata nak beli rumah kata I nak beli dekat dengkil sebab murah tapi dengkil. maybe the school you nak anak you ada experience sekolah dekat Damansara hmm. ah. so you, your alamat has to be in Damansara hmm. so a lot of people dia tak fikir benda tu 
once dah nak masuk sekolah, ah, eh pinjam alamat rumah you sedi, I nak daftar rumah anak I, uh, sekolah hmm. anak I lah. Jap, kalau hmm. you daftar, okay, net balance and sekolah, yes. uh, kalau you yes. nak daftar anak you ke sekolah, alamat you kena ikut yes, lah. Yes, yes. Government sekolah. Oh, yeah, yeah, government yeah, sekolah, yeah. I cakap dengan government sekolah. Kalau you ada duit, mana-mana pun boleh. Bukan, hmm. I'm not talking about private Yalah, sekolah. Yalah, public lah. Mm, ikut it. alamat. Hmm. Actually, can my house ni different topic jugaklah okay. this teruskan. rental teruskan. Ha, this rental lah. teruskan ah ha, teruskan rental. silakan kalau i order food kat grab kan they can never find my house orang cakap pasal you sekolah bukan... dan cakap pasal <laughs> grab food <laughs> eh tak boleh say, tapi bukan duduk like urban area ke uh, you tanya lah yeah, bagi alamat yeah. tapi yeah. dia kat mana yeah. 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 Belakang Pinci tak ada tempat, tak, 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 tak dapat cari alamat. No, I, I beli makanan, I pergi beli Shopee ke semua, tak dapat. Kenapa? You duduk mana ni? Duduk mana ni? Eh, dia ah. kau yang mistik ah. sebenarnya. Ah. Yang ah. mistik kau buat orang buat ni. Tak apa ni alamat tu. I sumpah, I tak pernah dengar pun this complaint, okay, from ah. you. What do you mean? You, you, you Google now. My house is not, is not there. Eh, hey, dia tinggal kat mana? Eh, hey, you cek-cek, you tinggal kat kubo, aku mesti lari kat sini. Oh ya. my you god! Mean. Every time kan, kalau I order makanan, I kena letak kat note. House number 11A lah, bang. So, 11A is not in any of the... Eh, like, hey, you dalam yeah. alam bunian ke apa ni? Saya pun tak tahu. Saya, 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 saya takut. Pelik lah dia. That's why sometimes rider akan post picture, dia... Sampai kat kubo ke, no. sampai kat rumah Dia kosong lah ke. Dia lah punca. Dia punca. Ay, punca. Ah, sewa lah lah, sewa lagi. Sewa, ah. sewa ah. lagi. Sewa you lagi. kena lah. pindah. One of the ah. cons lah. So, lah. kalau grab food tak datang rumah you, you kena sewa dekat tempat lain. Yes. Itu bukan cons untuk sewa. Masalahnya you sewa tempat salah. Yeah. Sampai orang tak boleh locate you. Not my fault. The house is dead. <laughs> the house is dead. <laughs> Tuyu, 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 tuyu is there? Macam mana boleh I masuk sana ada dinding, ada karpet, they cannot find. How? Pelik tau. What is this? Aku penat, penat. Okay, Natasha. You. Selain daripada macam ada risiko you dapat rumah yang orang tak dapat locate, apakah benda yang orang selalu buat silap when they want to buy a property? Dengar hmm. cakap kawan. Eh, betul? Hmm, betul? Kadang-kadang dia akan bagi poin. Ha? Dia... Sampai betul, sampai gila, <laughs> sampai dia off topic. Dia still betul. Ah. Ah. Dia, betul. Yeah. Betul. I know. Itu yang pertama. Yang kedua, macam dia juga FOMO. Ah. FOMO. Ah, ah. Membeli dengan FOMO. Dia dengar okay, apa? Okay, dia dengar okay. apa? Dia nak beli? Ah. Hood dan? Hood and hop. Yeah. Ah. Ah. Dia beli. Uh, ada hood and hop nak beli? Ah. Ah. Hood, hood, hood. Ah, kitchen. Uh, Bukan. Ah. 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 Ah
Ah. Can renew or government can take back the land without pampasan to you? Yes. Without oh. pampasan? Without, without lah. pampasan. Nanti nine years what? They can do whatever they you want. You sewa ma. Ah. They also wow. can kick you out. Ah. Wow. You ingat you jaga? Uh, that's mm. why we only say what? Well, I'm 99 years old so they want to kick me out like yes. that. Yes. No mercy. Hashtag capitalist. Capitalist. Oh. Yeah. Selalu dengar yes. The free whole part. So, mak bapa kita dari generasi yang they can afford to buy betul, landed betul. freehold so hmm. they will push this to you kenapa you nak beli kondo dekat PJ tu belilah hmm. landed dekat nilai hmm. Hmm. nilai ah uh. dekat seremban ah, dekat seremban kena terjaga sungai buluh macam mana mental ah. health ah. so ah. there's a banyak sangat what factor what is mental health ah. eh, eh. that's is that's the parents our parents, the parents. Ah, oh, betul 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 ah. 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 jangan ah. ayu jangan ah nanti my show got cancer sebab you ah Uh, I am woke. Uh, okay, good, good. Stay woke. Uh. <laughs> Begitulah. Ah, Begitulah. Begitulah. Oh, Begitulah. I mean, there's a lot more. Tapi yeah. um, yang itu yang saya nak tekankan. Lah. Okay, hmm. okay. Alright lah. So, before I let you all go and I nak korang tell people where to find yourself, jap, I nak bagi disclaimer. Okay, setakat, setakat ni, kau lah dengar macam, you know, uh, the benefits, pros and cons of be- beli, sewa. Jangan terpengaruh oleh apa yang Dan cakap. Jangan oh. ingat, oh, <laughs> maknanya jangan ingatlah, oh, beli tu tak best semua. Actually, semua pun ada pros, semua pun ada cons. Kalau you sewa rumah pun, sometimes you akan kena macam landlord yang... You know, hmm. uh, lokasi yang eh, grab driver tak dapat cari ke apa betul, kan. Betul. You jangan cakap, oh, Sadi, I tengok you punya podcast. That's why I tak akan beli rumah. Don't do that. Unless you are financially stable, you know the location. Uh, ada apa lagi? Pancing, pancing, pancing. Hood and hop. Hood and hop. Hood and hop. Uh, uh, I Kitchen Island. Uh, wash your dryer. Uh, wash your dryer. Wash your dryer. Wash your dryer. Uh, oh. you, you have to nilai kan. Iron. Uh, iron. Uh, Sorry, iron. I don't know. I'm, I'm just trying to... I buy for you lah. Like, uh, agent beli kan. Lah. Oh, boleh lah. Okay. So, korang kena pandai buat your own research before you decide. Okay? Alright. So, before we let you go officially, Natasha, macam or, macam mana orang nak connect dengan you ke apa? Uh, I'm on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter. Uh, ha. Boleh cari Mary Jual Kondo. It's yes. like Mary Kondo, tapi Mary Kondo. I jual Kondo. M A R I E J U A L. Eh, I follow you lah on Twitter. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you. Can you jadi viral recently? Yeah. Yes. Because of the Kondo Strata. message. Strata. Strata mm, tu. Aku cerita je. Aku yang kena. Ah, kan? Mm. Selalu netizen lah. Bas- kena But biasakan okay diri. But it's okay lah. It's yes. okay lah. It's okay. It's okay. Well, ah. Awareness. So, awareness. you can find me either Mary Jual Kondo or Natasha Gideon. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Dato Daniel. What do I see? I never see this kind of yeah, stuff. You can check us out on all thank social you, media. Uh, we're Insomniacs. I-N-S-O-M-N-I-A-C-K-S. He can spell! Ada dekat <laughs> semua tempat. YouTube, Instagram, everywhere. Kita ada a new song coming out soon. Cerita Kita. 22nd September. Cerita Tika. Woo! Woo! Okay. Baiklah. So, itu sahaja for today. Thank you so much korang for sharing this. Korang Thank jangan you. lupa saksikan episod-episod lain dalam musim ini. And shout out to our friend AIA Public Takafu. Thank you so much for watching, sayang. Bye. Bye. Bye.